And like I said last time, there was a few things we need to wrap up. We need to go retrieve the tape from the from Goomba, the Goomba elder, back at Goomba Village. And then was there anything else? Let's check key items. Silver credit, yeah. Um, no, I don't think there really is. I think we just wanted to get that item from Goomba Village and see if there was anything else there while we're at it. Um, and then we'll return it. Of course, we'll return it back to the Elder and Koopa Village. Then we're heading to Dry Dry Village or Dry Dry uh, Ru Ruins, I guess Dry Dry Desert, and go from there. So that is the plan, my friends. So what's up, Mister Check? Whoops. My love life isn't. Oh. It's like, it's like, dude, the, the dryness is, uh, something we've, we've all experienced. I, uh, I've, I've, I've mentioned before, I had a, I had a very storied, storied, uh, dr if you'll, if you'll allow the vernacular, a dry spell. In, in many, in more ways than one. A dry spell from, let's see, when I was 22 until I was 27. Let me think about that. 22 to 27? Yeah. No, it was longer than that. It was 28. Yeah. Because it was six years. It was a six-year dry spell. Yeah. So, so it's, you know, it's not, it's not a numbers, you know, it's not a numbers, it's not a competition, you know, it's, that shit's frustrating. I, you know, I feel you, Chuck, but it's like, yeah, it's something that a lot of us have to go through at some point. It's not fun. It's brightness is a little bit low. Oh, or it's super low, rather. Oh, well, thank you for, for letting me know. Here, let's see. So I'm looking at it side by side. Let's let me do this. It almost makes me wonder if it's on the if if it's on OBS or if it's on the capture card itself. I feel like a little side by side because I hadn't even really noticed it. What's about this? I can increase it on OBS. I think it actually might be on the capture end because it looks pretty close to how I have it. Hurting your eye? Oh, geez. Well, I'm sorry that it's being super not good. Let's try to address that then. Is is pretty similar, but on OBS it's significantly brighter, so it should it should be a lot better. And of course, this is a, a you know fairly bright and colorful game, so it definitely makes sense to make sure it is it is properly properly popping. So we're heading back to Goomba Village. At least I think that's where we're going. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. I don't want to I don't want to overcommit and then realize halfway in like oh god I'm going the wrong way. Like a doofus. Goomba Village, cool. Because, yeah, we wanted to retrieve something from the Goomba Elder. Looks about the same. Okay. Well, like I said, I, I, I'm trying to be dainty with it because, yeah, I don't want to wash things out. Yeah, like in here, for instance, in, on, on your guys' end, on OBS, the inside of this room is very well lit, and on my end, it's much darker. So there's less of a contrast. Um, which is not, it's not bad nor good. It's, you know, it's a, it's a personal taste kind of thing. Like, yeah, those, I think that's what gamma does. When you increase it, it, it kind of, it narrows the gap of the, the brights and the darks. And I retrieve this mushroom for free. It's a Goomba! Ah! That's fine. We'll one shot his ass. Okay, never mind. There's no one shotting to be done. We shall one shot this motherfucker. Whoops! Helps if I press the button correctly. Okay, never mind. No one shotting happening. Turns out I forgot how to click buttons. Some buffering though. Hmm, let me see if it's my internet. Should be okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing any drop frames. But, but uh these these things these things have been weird in the past. And thankfully, most of the bad guys that were that we saw last time on the Goomba Road have not respawned. Oh, okay, here's one. Yeah, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna avoid these fights because we don't need to fight them. We've got plenty of experience, and they don't give much anyway. Excuse me. Whip. Okay, well I'll get one of them. Fine. Begrudgingly. If I can, like, do this one properly. 
what screws me up sometimes is I'll, I'll click a one too many times. When I'm like going through the menus. And that hacks me up because that's when we gotta press and hold the A button to charge up the body slam. How did I not get hit by that Goomba as I was collecting things? Maybe there's like iframes. Because these Goombas are nice. In fact, we haven't been here since we first left. Since we first embarked. So we, it would be worth to chat with folks to see if there's anything new. Alright, so I think we did trim. I think we already tried this. Does not work. So there's still something else we need to unlock the secrets. That little panel right there. And here's this jabroni. Look at this little lad. Last time I fucked out on the very first question like a noob. This time, I'm a pro gamer. We're gonna guess this shit. Chuck Quizmo. Let's try that quiz. As we spin back. I'm just somewhere that's right. Ooh, I could have even talked to her. We last time we tried Goombet, and that was not it, so it's between these two. Oh! I guess it's Goombaria then. I could have I could have even talked to her. So they really named Yeah, uh, is that this is the mother, right? Yeah, let's go talk to her. Yeah, yeah, here she is. Oh, it doesn't actually show her name then. So they really named their their two children Goombario and Goombaria, or Goom with well, the the female Goombario variant. It's wild. Uh, there's the Toad House. All right, so let's go to the Elder, who may or may not be still holding off from. Constructing the veranda because that didn't go so well. Oh, no, I sure turns out turns out they got that shit We got a free shooting start of it. Nice So he's rebuilt it. No crashing noises. No disasters I'm almost disappointed wait hold on which which is the real one Is one of the one outside was the dad There's two old dudes The tape. You know the one. No further descriptions necessary. Behind the chair, that's where we keep the porn stash. I mean, um, the... The... The informative tape stash. The tape. I do want to know what's on it. That information is classified? Ah, well, shucks. It was good though. Whatever it was, it was the good shit, TM. Yeah, this other one's identity. Yeah, this one right here. Evil things afoot. Yeah, I don't remember talking to this guy last time. Oh, wait, is this the grandma? Because the mom is out here. That's the, that's the daughter. That's the mom. Oh, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, it's the grandma. Okay. And a free coin. Yeah, it's the grandma. So yeah, one was Goompa. She, she, that one must be, must be Goomma. I feel like I'm... I feel like my... Saying these names out loud makes their... Silliness... More outspoken. Oh, I didn't actually it. Fucking jump onto him because that's gonna hurt my foot. My footsies. I'll teach you the lesson that it's not nice to wear a hat. Yeah, the fact that they named their two children Goombario and Goombaria. The the first one, it's like, okay, I get it. Yeah, it's because she, he's such a big fan of Mario. I guess they both. I guess both. I really. I guess it was the parents then. The par the parents are big fans of Mario. It's like, wow, they, they must be really big fans name both of their children. You know, naming one in tribute is one thing, but... He decided to go all in. Wasn't there a family that, um, 
took Bethesda up on an offer where it's like if they named their child uh, some after some Skyrim reference, maybe the maybe Dovahkiin or Dragonborn or something. I don't know if they named their child some name that was very much a Bethesda game Skyrim reference that they would get like free Bethesda games for life or some shit and they fucking went for it. I mean, it's I'm not going to like say that's like horrible or like fucked up, but I'm um, I guess I'm I'm surprised that Bethesda made the offer and I'm also surprised that uh you know a a a, a father and mother both agreed to it. It's the kind of thing where a, a lot of parties had to sign up for this for that to happen. Several several this had to pass several steps for it to be put in motion. But, I mean, yeah, I guess uh, there, there's a lot of couples in the world, a lot of babies being born every day, so... <laughs> eventually, somebody was gonna take them up on their offer. Oh, I can't actually- okay. But I could just go over. Like, drop down and then proceed. Alright, so I need to get to Koopa Village. Wait, hold on, what did it say? Oh, that's Koopa Village, okay. Pretty sure we just go to the right, to the right. Oh, there was also this. There was also this up here. Yeah, the dojo. That was the other thing. Let's let's give this the old the old inspection. We talked to people, but we didn't like participate last time. Now let's participate. All right, Chan. Let's do this thing, homie. This guy might kick the dick right out of between my legs. Chan the man. I'm gonna guess you probably resist jumps pretty well. Let's, let's hammer his ass. His entire ass. He resists. Well, the solution is explosions. I'm gonna set the controller down for the A mashing. Block that shit too. Wow. I'm impressed. Yep. Time for desperate measures then. Power bounce. I should have done that from the get go. <laughs> Feels a little silly. And maybe. Oh, okay. Not. I was about to say. A little overpowered. Oh, we just fucking single cycled his ass. So we gotta knock his ass down first. That makes sense. That makes sense. I should I should have thought of him as just a souped up Koopa. A cooped up Supa. He must train harder. He says that's the equivalent of saying Chan get fucking good, nerd. First degree. I worry about his health. He's sounding not so good. And I'm guessing the damage we sustained was legit. Was legit damage. Can we can we do like another round? Here, let's let's go back for a heal real quick. Then we'll we'll see if we can do like a new round of fights. And take a quick nappy. Somewhere. There is a toad house, right? Yeah, he, yeah, the that's right, the Buzzy Beetles, yeah, so it's like, he, he's functionally very similar to a Koopa, except I, I guess the thing with Buzzy Beetles is that they're fireproof. Projectile-proof, at least. So you gotta knock their asses down. Here's the Koopa, here's the, the Toad House for a nappy. Little power nap. Refresh my body and soul, yep, nap time. Power nap, which is to say a five second nap. I'm a big fan of power naps throughout the workday if I can if I can swing it. Especially when I'm working from home, like a if I'm if it's like lunchtime and I've got like a quick lunch that I'm that I can like scarf down while I'm working. I'll just spend my 30 minutes for lunch just taking a nap. And then I'll just, you know, eat my actual do my actual lunch eating while I'm working. It's pretty nice. Good for just a little refresher. 
It wouldn't be. That's good. It's not a, a game over per se. Let us try. Lee, that's probably the the this robed lad. Have a good night, Chris. Uh, Cookie Crystal. Thank you again for hanging out and for for joining in. Always nice getting to hear from you. Never seen a move like this, you say? Oh, yeah. You got me there. That is a surprise. Here, I'm gonna assume that you will explode, or or do other things like she does. So let's let's just try standard attacks before I bust up the big weird guns. Two damage, good. Time to explode. Set the controller down. Five damage. Did not block it. All right. Busting out the big guns. Power jump. Time for the thing where I like nod my head along to the jumps. Here we go. Super. The strat seems a little broken because... Okay, and that, okay, I didn't obviously do it perfectly, but yeah, if you can get like Cracker Jack timing, you just fucking, well, some bad guys are immune to jumps, obviously, but for those that aren't, you just delete their health. Did not stand a goddamn chance. Thumbs up. Mario is Le Winner. I'm sure, yeah, there's, that's the thing. There's probably even more souped up versions of it that we've yet to behold. Excuse me. Lee, good, good. Second degree. For the second degree burns we just inflicted. Right, Any time, he says, as he continues to wheeze and cough. Alright, so same thing. I'm going to go restore my, my numbers. And I'm, I'm guessing the next fight is the master himself. And he's he's probably going to wipe the floor with us, even in his withered state. Because usually in video games, the, the withered old masters are the ones that can clean the floor with you just as easily. So I know better than to expect this to go smoothly. Quick refresher of my flower power. I almost wonder if there will be a way to cure his his ailment. You know, he's coughing and wheezing so much. So it's like, I almost wonder if there's a way to fight him in his current state and then fight him in his, like, healthy state when he can, like, really put up a fight. There's other bad just to make it even more gross. I wonder if I have anything that would make it more gross. Because I'm guessing, you know, power jump, shrink, stomp, power bump. These are all separate powers. I don't think I have anything yet that would be, like, disgusting. But I am curious. The Master, which is you. Okay, not yet, not yet. Alright. Well, we'll start off, we'll start off simple. Like earlier. Let's see what this guy's all about. Although that being said, I will open with a with a explosion, a splody. Ooh, that was him with a block. This guy does not fuck around. So we gotta we gotta hit him with the gamer moves. Here we go. <clears throat> Ooh, I didn't time it well. Oh, is that it? No. Okay. It was, it was it was a I didn't time it well enough. Yeah, that's even with a block. Homeboy does not mess around. Let's do a little refresh. Unsurprisingly, this guy is a veritable badass. Shocking absolutely nobody.
I kind of don't want to use any items for this fight. This, this is the kind of fight that I'm guessing I just need to come back for later. Let's do one more round of power balancing and see where that gets us. I think he says that every time. Excellent move. So we did probably 25, 30 or so. Oh, is that it? Nope, it's not it. So even with blocking, eh, dead. So unsurprisingly, we'll have to come back not insignificantly later. Let's take this man down. Like in the background music. There's like the noise. It's like arcade. It's like Street Fighter noises. Bit crushed, like Genesis level, uh, Sega Genesis sound effects. Um, by the way, I got my short little hobbit booty crushed, so we need a little nap time to replenish our spirits and our and our dignity. After a short little toad lad did one of these, he went like, "Hi, yeah," and just what, just just removed. One-third of our health. Those first two guys were pushovers, though. Those first two just were not... Could not stand up scrutiny. Yeah. It didn't even seem like a super forceful punch, but he just knew how to do it just right. So I don't need, really need to fight these guys again because we done did the whole dealio last time. And they don't really give that much for rewards anyway. Whew. Yeah, the Koopas out of all these enemies would probably be the ones that would be Perhaps the most worth fighting. But even then, yeah, they, they wouldn't really give a whole lot. Oh, fuck. He still sniped me. Sneaky boy. Let's go ahead and let's see. The body slam, I don't think would be considered an aerial attack. So let's go ahead and jump on this guy first. Oh, I, that's right. I can't attack the guy. Okay, never mind. Well... Let's still, uh, still do this one. Okay, I won't kill him. So what I'm actually gonna go at- well, it probably doesn't matter. Cause that'll take him out, and then yeah. Bombette should have no trouble. Yeah, there we go. NPCs will... Okay, that's good to know, yeah. That there's like... You'll get... You'll get... Kudos from other NPCs. So, we, yeah, we got the... We got the second degree. Whoops. Darn. Oh, no, I did knock him down. Okay. It won't kill. It'll knock his ass down. Boing. Oh, did I miss the? Oh, fuck! I missed the village. Well, that's that's a that's a goof. I didn't time that well. That's okay. Thank you for pointing that out, demon. Yeah, I I uh, I had I had not realized. It's an easy fix. Boink. We're getting better at the whole getting them defenses in. So we'll take it. Whew. Okay. 
he's out of there. But yeah, you can see we're getting stewed to two star points per battle. It's really not worth it. How about the sign here? Oh yeah, that's the fortress, yeah. We should have taken the lower path, I think is what happened. Or should have happened. Yeah, I shouldn't take this bridge. Excuse me. That's the one. Excuse me as I hiccup. These guys don't look at us like that other blue pillar. Make us proud, he says. There was the one Koopa that would be like, you want to see my power? And he like just runs in circles. I want to talk to him, see what he has to say. It's this guy, I think. Another leaf. I think it was this one right here. Um, it is not. Sorry, my phone just dinged. Let me check this real quick. Okay. Um, was it this house? Yes. Alright, so in all this time, I've been a good boy. I've been a good lad. I haven't even peeped at this mysterious tape. Again, there is Peach's Fireplace Secret, Wink Wink Nudge Nudge in Mario RPG. Now Koopa's tape, I don't know, man. A lot of illicit materials being passed around. Suffering Shy Guys. One whole coin. Here's a nickel for your trouble, you young whippersnapper. I'm wondering if at some point from doing all these errands, he'll give us something juicy. TV and a VCR. That's the one thing to consider too, D-Man. This is 2001, maybe 2000 when this game came out. It was late in the N64 life cycle, so DVD players wouldn't have really been a thing, obviously. This would have been a VCR tape, man, so old school. I guess it could have been a cassette tape, I guess, but CDs were would have been more in vogue at that point. But yeah, yeah, VCR though, bud. Hell yeah. Let's see what this lad would like. Some Koopa tea. I think I might have some on my very person right now. Or as a special technique. Culinary master, we've got the hookup. Taste tea, she is quite good. Some piping hot. I've got two of them. I got the double dose, my man. Growling gulpets. I mean, I've had this tea bouncing around in my pocket, in my back pocket even, for the last couple of in-game hours, so I'll make no guarantee about how hot it is, or how fresh, but... But there it is. Special gift. Two coins. Don't tell anybody. Two coins. Calling it right now. Oh! Three? Damn, that is that is legit generous. So, so he is up in the ante. No longer this one coin nonsense. Right, what do you need now, home dog? Home slice. Secret wish. <laughs> this makes me happy. This will make Luigi happy too. He's a cool guy. He's a cool lad. I mean, we're his brother, so I guess we're inclined to like him too. All right. I think we can. I think we'll be able to pull some strings on this one, home homeboy. We'll see what we can get. What we can get, rather. It makes me happy because, you know, so much of the Mario lore involves Mario being the star and Luigi playing second fiddle always. And being nervous and being anxious and, and you know, not always having the confidence that Mario appears to have. So now, now Luigi is getting the, uh, the attention that he's, he's deserved all this time. Earning his fame, that's right, that's right. I'm gonna deposit a few things in the item shop real quick. 
Demon, when you said, I'll make no guarantee, it reminded me of Helldivers, which is a game on PC. It's kind of similar in some ways to... It's, it's, it kind of controls like a Diablo-like in some ways. It's a pretty fun little game. And one of my favorite things about the game is the dialogue that the characters will have. Because it's all very like... It's like, we, we are, we are, we are the victor, we are, we are the, the heroes here to save the day. Like, they're very, they're very self-assured and, and very confident characters. And they're trying to liberate these, these areas and free the innocents and defeat the bad guys. And one of my favorite lines in the game is one of the guys saying, How's about a nice cup of liberty? Liberty. I, I thought that was good. It's on PS4? Yeah, I think it's- yeah, I think it's on console. It's probably on a few- on a few platforms. It's a fun little game. Let's see... Do we have another T? Probably gonna put both the leaf and leaf... Leaves in there. Um, and the nut. Alright, back to Mr. Luigi. Actually, no, I should have just kept them on me because we're going back to Toe Town anyway. We could have had them brewed up for us. Whoop, as I smack my microphone. Could just have Tasty just slap them together for us. We got star three star pieces. Star shard thingamajigs out of it, so... This guy's good for his... For his rewards, and our... Our efforts will be handsomely... Handsomely rewarded. Our time shall be. Boing boing. Whew. It's interesting because, and I guess this is how this is the answer to how does the game get away from like because it's the same amount of star points every time to get a level. How does the game get away from preventing you from just powering yourselves up, just playing the same areas over and over again, relatively quickly, relatively rapidly, that is, to get a bunch of star points and just level constantly? It seems like these guys are giving less experience than the last time we came through, so it seems like that's a way to kind of balance it out, or attempt to balance it out. Wait, hold on. So, yeah. On second thought, I think I should... Okay, there's no item shop here. It must be in the other area. I think I should keep the items on me so I can have Tasty cook them for us and then deposit them. That is exactly what I'll do. Star Spirits. Yeah, yeah. It's much like Breath of the Wild. Zelda's trying to hold Ganon at bay. And, and you know, Link's fucking around getting Korok seeds and doing side quests and other tomfoolery. I feel like there should be a a name for that kind of trope. The the world is, you know, on the brink, and the hero, the protagonist, is just, you know, playing grab ass with NPCs and just doing other less important things. But it's okay, because we're you know we're, we're we're helping people out, we're doing cool gamer things. No, it's not saving the world, but it's it's still important. Yo, what's up, Spooter? I like your screen name. Spooter Duder. It's good to see you, bud. We're playing some Paper Mario. This is my first... We're in the midst of my first ever playthrough. Last time we fixed up, finished up, the Koopa Bros Tower, or Fortress. And now we are checking out here. Let's actually do the tasty stuff first. Now we're about to head to... Oh, that's not tasty. We're about to head to Dry Dry Desert, but first I'm knocking out some side quests. Uh, I actually can't remember where Tasty lives. It's not there. Is it here? No, it's the flat. It's the item shop. It's the dojo. I think it might be one spot further. So let's go ahead and talk with Ouija. Let's get an autograph from our brother. Or the Koopa Elder. He'll be so excited. Last time he was sitting on a rock singing. And that is exactly what he's doing this time. He somehow built the rock back or something. Yeah, it's like there needs to be a name for that kind of trope. It's very silly. 
It's a good game. It's a good game, Spooder. I'm really enjoying it. I I've mentioned before, I loved Super Mario RPG, but I've never played a Paper Mario game in my life until this playthrough. So it's I'm I'm a little bit late to the party, but better late than never. Just give me a chance. Just put me in, coach. Let's get an autograph. That's right. <laughs> what do you, you write it on? My autograph. Mr. Koopa Cute. <laughs> that is a good autograph. Stacy's in the. I do not remember. I didn't. I had. I had forgotten. A lot of Koop. A lot of Toad Town kind of, kind of blurs together for me, admittedly. Thank you for pointing out it's in the southern southern side of town. As he has the 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 track the main attraction buildings are you know sensible enough, but some of the unmarked buildings I go, ah, which one is that again? I get him. I get him mixed up. You have to remember, D-Man, I'm a, I'm an old man. I'm an I'm an old aging hobbit. I, I just turned 33 last month, if you can believe it, so I'm I'm getting a little, a little, little rusty in my, in my day now. Here's Tasty, by the way. I got the goods for you, lady. Some leaves and some nuts. Actually, just the one nut. By the way, she's doing all this for us for free. We're not paying her or anything. We're just bringing her the reagents. And she's making for us the... Alchemical concoctions, presumably for free. I feel like we should be embarrassing her somehow. We're paying her an exposure or something. Yeah, I've I've had that same kind of thing to Demon, where I go like, "Wait, how old am I?" One of my favorite moments with my fiance that I that I bring up frequently on stream. This is actually a few years ago. We were out celebrating what was then. Her 27th birthday and oh no no it was the, it was actually the day before it was the day before her 27th birthday and again this is a couple years ago and um i was at, i jokingly asked her like how are you feeling about you know you're about to level up so to speak you know you're, you're gonna gain wisdom you're gonna you're going to like overnight you're gonna feel so different and she goes wow i can't believe i'm, I'm, I'm about to turn 26 and i did one of these where i was like I, I, you know the meme where the, where the person's like, they're like thinking, and there's like numbers, and, and there's like pie charts, and ge geometry, graphs, and, and equations, they're like, uh, wait, they're doing, I was doing one of those, and she must have seen me making a face, and she was like, wait, how old, <laughs> she was like, wait, no, what, that's, that, not, that's not right, what's the number? So... One of those moments where I, where I thought to myself, shit, man, have I, maybe, have I, have, because I thought I was wrong. I was like, shit, have I misremembered what year she was born? It's like, I thought I had it square in my head. So that's one of my favorite things where it's like, I can't believe I'm about to turn negative one year older than I am now. And I'm just like, uh, excuse me? The fuck? Excuse the fuck out of my goddamn French, but what the hell? All right, so we got all the goods. Oh, to, oh, fuck, man, thanks. Thanks for cooking for me. Now die. No, I promise I don't reward those who cook things for me with violence. I'm not that kind of. I'm not that kind of hobbit. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I there was nothing else I'd forgot. I neglected. That was silly. All right, so. Go back this away is with autograph in tow. The random here. Yeah. It's something we've I, I'm sure is not you know, I'm not unique. I'm sure it's something ah heck, we've all done. Dead. Uh oh I should have switched up to Goombario. That's okay. Do nothing. Out of all the music I've heard in this game so far, I think just the plain, just the plain ass battle theme might be my favorite. 
And it's not too different how in Mario RPG, the plain ass battle music in Mario RPG might have been my favorite song in that game too. Although the, not the big boss theme, but like the mini boss theme was also a banger. And of course, there's there's the there's a Geno's Woods, which is iconic. So there there are many many tracks that I just adore. Oh, he fucking landed on me, dude. And I absolutely adore in Mario RPG. I like this game's soundtrack too, but I'm I I very much have a bias. Thanks for the thanks for the tea. Time for violence. I promise I'm I'm nicer to the people who cook for me. Usually. Oh, I wanted the mushroom! Fuck. I got excited when I saw the mushroom. So it shouldn't matter. This bomb... Bomb girl will be able to do that shit regardless. Bomb it. Let's hold the A button down. Your unique bad. That's, yeah, which is nice. I'm looking forward to hearing the different ones. Yo, Fade Goal, what's up, friend? Good morrow to you as well, my friendo. Mushroom, we're playing some Paper Mario. It's my first ever playthrough of any Paper Mario game, and it's going pretty well so far. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. It's the next room, I think. We're going to... We're, we're wrapping up some side quests before embarking on our next major adventure. Last time we knocked out the Koopa Bros tower, fortress, rather, and tonight we are soon to be heading up the... Dry, dry ruins. I'm excited. Dry, dry desert, rather. But I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Here's the bomb friends from last time. Here's this lad. All right, I'm going to get the first fucking question right this time. I promise. Now that we've... Through process of elimination, narrowed down the name of... Uh... Goombario's sister. It's Goombaria. Through... Process of elimination, we got the first question right. Oh, I, th I, th I thought there'd be like more questions. I thought it'd be like, oh, answer three questions and you get a blah, blah, blah. Okay. We got the first one. Okay. There will be more. Like how his top head opens up. All right, so here you go, buddy. I got the swag for you, home slice. You're a wizard, Mario. You're a wizard, Harry. Unique treasures, he says. Yeah, he'll just pop in. I'm gonna be saying trying to chase him down was annoying, D-Man, and I could absolutely see that. Two coins. No favors for the now. All right. That won't last. I'll think of something. But for now, we, we have been... We've been released. So we're about to head to Dry Desert. Dry, dry desert. Okay, no other notes. Or, or, or intel, rather. When I think of Dry, dry desert, two things come to mind. There's the... I think Mario Kart Double Dash. There's a stage... That is more or less called Dry Dry Desert. It's a pretty cool one. Although I'm biased, I loved Double Dash. It's probably it's probably my favorite Mario Kart game. So every level in Mario Kart, Double Dash I love. It reminds me like that that naming convention that a lot of Nintendo games do of like adjective, adjective, noun. Like there's tall, tall heights in uh let me think about this. Link's Awakening. Which is my favorite 2D Zelda game. So I, I kind of like that naming convention. And it makes me wonder if that is... Like, it makes me wonder how that translates into, into Japanese. I know... Uh, oh, fuck. I tried to jump over him. Ouch, my little footsies. Um, I, so I remember JD telling me... JD was, was one of my mods. I remember him telling me... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'll just hammer him. That a lot of the names for, like, enemies... In Japanese video games, um, to do nothing, are based on onomatopoeia. So, like, 
Um, that's like a very common thing you see in a lot of the Zelda games. Where, like the Japanese translation for like some monsters is like based on the IRL inspiration. Um, behind some of these monsters, or like or like the mythological. Uh, inspirations for them, so it might be might be an onomatopoeia, or it might just be a pun on the name. And I saw a tweet the other day that said that learning Japanese is infuriating because it it will ruin anime for well not ruin, but it, it will ruin like anime protagonist names for you because you learn that like ninety percent of anime protagonist names are like ridiculous puns, and when they get translated into English or when it well when a non Japanese speaker speak non Japanese speaking person hears it. They go, like, they, they don't, you know, put it together, obviously. But for a person who knows the language, they hear the name, they go, Oh, fuck. It's a silly pun. Goddamn. So, it's kind of funny how that works out. Oh, <laughs> yo, Spooder, I got you, homie. Yeah, so Sidnass raided us a little bit earlier. Um, so that might have been how you came in on the raid. Sidnass is a is a, uh, a friend to humanity in general, but, but a, a streamer friend of mine as well. She's a cool lady. And I, I can't say enough nice things about her. Because she rated us earlier, which was very generous. But yes, Double Dash, my man. Hell yeah. Love it. Love me some Double Dash times. Um, I was saying earlier how, you know, it's kind of ridiculous how there's been NES virtual console games. Of course, SNES as well. There's N64. There's Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. And on the, e the Wii U eShop, you can even buy uh, DS games and... Uh, Wii games, so it's like uh, there are so many platforms represented on Nintendo's various eShops over the years But we've never had a single GameCube game. I guess other than Sunshine is part of the you know, the, the 3d Mario uh, Collection all-stars collection But it's like man, I, I I would love to for like a legit digital way to play Double Dash and Melee and maybe even Thousand Your Door wouldn't that be nice because uh you know, it's like you have to seek out physical copies of this game. Sadly, I don't have my copy of Double Dash anymore. It was it was a uh, it was stolen from me actually years and years ago. It's a whole it's a whole thing. But anyway, yeah, I've I've since lost a lot of my GameCube games. It's like man, I'd love to be able to play that shit again. I miss that shit gratuitously. To mount rugged, I'm a pretty ruggedly mounted lad. All right, let's do this thing. It was Goob or Ursa. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying, Spoon. I thought you meant you would have come in just like just a little bit earlier from Sidnass's raid. Um, trying to think if I know anybody named Goob or I'm trying to remember. Cause I'll reckon I'll admit those names don't don't ring a bell. There's a guy I I used to know whose name um he's changed his name. His name used to be uh Goop or Go Go Operatives. He's changed it to just uh, it's a Dylan something. I actually can't remember his screen name now. Um, I don't see him as often nowadays because our stream schedules are super different. He's a, he's a morning streamer nowadays. There's Gobby. Yeah, Gobby's always a good guy. Chapter 2 begins, my friends. There were se there were several. Yeah, we had we had our we had a man Gratafi. We had uh, Shake. We had Inner Demon. Yeah, we had I think three raids last night, which was very generous. I'm I'm a, I'm a very lucky guy. I have a lot of very very cool streamer friends who are very good to me. I'm, there, I'm I'm very I'm very fortunate. So that rugged is next to the desert of the dry dry variety. That's where we're going. All right. Come back in a while. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, so if I wanted to go back... Nope, you're locked in for a bit. Obviously, there will be more more train rides. And finally get back to Toad Town. Wonder what denizens will be out here. I mean, it might be more toads. The arrows on the signboards. Ooh. Scary creatures. I ain't afraid. Yeah, yeah, the people that raided us last night, they, they're, they're, they're friends of mine, like streamer internet friends of mine that I've known for a while. And they're like, they're, they're fairly, you know, similarly sized. It's like, I don't have like a, you know, a gigantic audience or anything. So, you know, a lot of my friends will kind of like raid each other. You know, we all try to help each other out more or less.
Oh, no. oh that's that's very sweet of you, D-Man. That's very generous. I think we've already saved. Celery. I don't know if I know that name. But I know there have been instances. Oh, what's this? Just an egg. Oh, we're maxed out, though. Restores 5 HP. Oh, right. I meant to, like, store things. I actually might not take this because we have much better restorative things. Oh, let's get rid of mistake. <laughs> Throw away the mistake. It's it's out of here. Mistake. What about a wet, wet desert? Maybe very briefly, but yeah, probably would cease being a desert after that point. Autos for you. So that's, that's very sweet, DM, man. I appreciate that, buddy. You're a good duder. So sure enough, they say follow the arrows and don't get lost and don't die and get good. Oh, the wacka. It was cute. Well, I'm hopeful that cute means it will be nice and not try to murder our faces. And check those bushes. They see follow the arrows. See, I want to be, want to be a non-conformist and not follow the arrows exclusively. However, we've seen this before. I have a sneaking suspicion we'll get some kind of thing or person or ability that'll let us break those blocks. It's this block right here we've seen a few times and it's always like, mm, can't go much further than that. There's one in the pipe, like the sewer area in Toad Town. I think I might have seen even one elsewhere. Maybe in like, would it have been the, the fortress? I think it was even earlier than the fortress. I want to say we saw one like super early. Well, maybe not. I, regardless, regardless, it's, we've we've seen it before. Yeah, just mud. Yeah, it's it's it stops being a desert after so much moisture. Don't get noted. Yeah, there I I know there used to be a setting where you could enable auto host notifications. Um, I I'm a I used to watch Fufu a lot. Her name is Kung Fu Fruit Cup. She's a speedrunner on Twitch, and. She's part of like several stream teams and some stream teams have their own stream team bots where they'll they'll like shuffle around auto hosts depending on who's off who's off offline who's online and I'd be watching her and her auto host notification was goofy saying thanks pal from Kingdom Hearts and uh, you know she'd be playing her game she'd be speedrunning and you just hear like a string of like seven goofy thanks pal just back to back and it's like oh there it goes auto hosts so yeah there used to be it used to be a little bit more annoying but nowadays it's a little bit nicer although to my knowledge twitch has actually changed how auto hosting works um in fact i i think i think it's like it's kind of been like deprecated in some ways i think it still works but it's not as as um it's not as like as concrete of a feature as it used to be Now, you're the mailman, right? I feel like we've seen this lad before. The Mario. Host alerts, yeah. That's the thing, too. I've, I've had people say, like, what the hell? I tried to host you, but there was no notification. Sometimes it just doesn't work, or sometimes it comes in late. So, yeah, for whatever reason, hosts are weird on, on Twitch, uh, Twitch's API sometimes. Yeah, para carry. That's right. Trying to find a lost letter. Hey, man, every little bit counts, Steve. Man, we'll we'll take what we can get. Like I said, I'm not you know I'm not some big shot. I'm just some I'm I'm small in stature and small in you know in in platform. But that's okay because we're just here to have a good old time, play some games and tape some Mario's. Summer on Mount Rugged. Let's see if we can keep our eyes out for it. I found an egg. Can I offer you an egg in these trying times? I mean, if you squint hard enough, an egg pretty much might as well be a letter. <laughs> I like this Sonic the Hedgehog style. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Little ramp. That's fun. Very good. Microscopic. Nope. Does does not matter. Like I said, it's all all good, man. Whoa. Fight. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go ahead and guess that jumping and hammering is pretty much same as here. Okay, so he has about th two or three HP. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and guess three. Okay, not too bad. Boing. Over a decade, yeah. Yeah, it's just how it goes, Spooder. Yeah, Spooder knows, man, sometimes. I've, I've referenced many times that D-Man was, was there way back in the day when I first started streaming, and probably D-Man remembers the times where, yeah, I'd be streaming for hours on end, and D-Man would be the only one in chat, and I still had fun. Still had fun, and I You know, of course, I, I selfishly enjoy more the streams where there's you know a lot of folks but um go ahead and get Cooper in here but um but yeah it's like I, I remember I remember those days all too well it's so satisfying and again it's not gonna kill them I'll kill one of them Whoop. ah heck I I clicked it too early one time and then too late the other time. You're out of there. Yeah, it can be tough for sure. It can be disheartening, man. I, I totally understand. It can be disheartening and it's like, you know, a lot of people talk about when you're streaming, you you like you want to, they talk about having it be like a grind mindset. It's like you want to, it's like if I keep persisting, eventually I'll... You know, I'll, I'll break through and it's like that that can be well and good but still it's it 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 can be it can feel tiresome for sure yeah I remember you say that demon it's like a private show it's like a private show sleepy sheep um, I don't know sleepy sheep I don't know if I love these but that being said they are um unknown origin the, the nice thing about the sleepy sheep is that to my knowledge, you can't really just find them in the wild. Or at least it's harder to find them in the wild. So I'll probably drop something to make room for it. Probably drop the mushroom. So we can break that with just a plain ass hammer. That's right, Fade Gold. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've joked before about making a. Oh, he's not a. I just assumed he was a bad guy. I see a bad guy, I see a thing, and I just assume I gotta beat the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah, I've joked before about making my own website, calling it Only Hobbits. And it's like just pictures of myself in like compromising positions, doing hobbit related activities. So it's like I'm it's like I'm bent over, showing like exposing my booty while I'm like throwing some jewelry into a volcano. Or there's one of like I'm I'm like doing like a cutesy little pose while I'm eating Second breakfast? I don't know. It's fucking memes, honestly. His bump. Wow! That is... extraordinary. Gotta make room for that shit, dude. Get rid of some tea. Get out of here, Koopa Tea. Actually, you know, I say that. That's why I just drink some tea, since I've used flower power. Oh, I guess you can't use it outside of battle. That's a shame. Yeah. Unless I did get restored. No, I did not. No, that's okay. Yeah, very, yeah, very tasteful. Tasteful and sexy. That's how we keep it. That's a good-ass item. I almost wonder if it's like, shit, I gotta, like, I should try talking to him instead of inflicting violence first thing. After the start menu. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Thank you, D man. That's exactly it. Cool. That was the key. Man, I keep smacking my microphone. I keep punching everyone in the ears when I don't mean to. You're saying how you don't want to get lost. Make sure to follow the arrows, but so far as I can tell, there's really no branching paths here. Show yourselves. First strike. Actually, well, actually, yes, I will do this. I'll be strategic. 
Except I will miss... I will fuck the timing. So no strategery here. I was gonna say, oh, let me just get the, uh... The quick murder on this other guy. Oh, never mind. They, don't, they, have, they have three HP, not two. So I could not have single cycled them anyway. Quest 2's got a good- I've heard that! I've heard the Quest 2 is like super good. Literally playing whack-a-mole out here. Yeah, I've heard the Quest 2's got like- it's just really good across the board. Like good battery, good just everything. Solid piece of hardware. What kind of games are you playing? Uh, Spooter for the um, for some VR stuff. For some testing rather. Yeah, it's pretty lit- yeah, I was like- I'm guessing they, they just say that as a- as, as a- a sense of flavor text. Some kind of wireless mic, though. Well, yeah, it'd be nice to have, have as much of it be wireless as possible, obviously, but it's nice that the built in one's pretty chill. Now, I realize I don't have to take every fight I see, they do give a lot of monies. And it's actually not bad experience for a fairly easy fight. Boop, boop, boop. Walk about me. Oh, I think I've seen that one actually. Yeah, that that game seems pretty neat. I've never played. Well, I've I've played VR. I've I've like been over at a friend's place and messed around with it for like you know ten minutes. I've never like legit played VR, like any kind of VR game before. I think I've seen the one you're referring to. Oh, I didn't realize there was a VR for Green Hell. That's kind of cool. Damio. Oh, B oh, yeah, and of course, Beat Saber. I recognize the first and, and last in that list. Interesting. Must be another another route. I'm going to take the slidey. Or maybe, maybe there's some other way to go up that ramp. Can't do it yet. PlayStation VR, yeah. Yeah, I've um I don't have any kind of VR thingy myself. Oh shucks. Might get into it at some point, but um for me personally, I don't really think I'd be able to get much use out of it. Just because I don't really do I don't really play a lot of games outside of what I stream, and I don't know if I would want to stream VR per se. Because it'd be excuse me, probably kinda hard to keep up with chat, that kind of thing. Not impossible, but just a, a, a level of, of of challenge to consider. It's like a dungeon. Oh, that's cool. D&D VR kind of stuff. That's nice. Half-Life. Yeah, Half-Life Alex. That's that's honestly, for me at least, the killer app I want to play. I'm a big Half-Life fan, so it's like, man, I really want to get myself some Half-Life time. Half-Life Alex looks incredible. Ragnarok. I don't think I know Ragnarok either. There's the letter, by the way. All right, bud, now's your time to shine. To Merlin, to town. It's a second thingy, but we would need to drop down, it seems. It's a good chill out game. It, it looks, if it's a game I think it is, it looks and sounds very chill. Let's go ahead and deliver the, the letter back to the dude. I bet that's probably what he was seeking. Yeah, Half-Life Alex looks so freaking cool though. And I've tried to watch as little as possible so that when I do play it, it's it's as unspoiled as, po as, as I can make it. Because yeah, needless to say, I am very down. Yeah, it's only one exit out of here. Is the guy back? He is. Can I talk to him? I feel a little bad about that. Not too bad. But a little. Let's kind of down some stuff anyway. Only so many times. I kind of figured there would be... 
a, a an upper bound eventually. Because that item is extraordinarily good. There's no way we just have an infinite number. Here you go, bud. Oh, there's a restore thing anyway. Whatever. Rhythm racing game. Oh, that sounds incredible, Spooter. Holy moly, that sounds so fucking cool. Yeah, that's dope. That sounds awesome, man. Two more letters. Two more, he says. All right, homie. Make no guarantees, but I'll see what we can do. <laughs> I, I, I feel a little bad. But, oh, but very briefly. Yeah, I'm the one losing the letters, but I promise it's not my fault. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, that's so fun. I was about to say, yeah, like for some songs, and depending on how physical the game is, and it sounds quite physical, it could be quite the workout. I know Beat Saber for many is is like something that they incorporate into their workouts because it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an active game. You gotta be an active person to play that shit because it is... Especially like for the higher difficulty stuff, shit is not easy. So, so if I want to get that hammer thingy, I'd have to I'd have to drop down. I would need some other buddy who could like double jump or something. It almost it's like I can almost cheese it, eh, but not quite. So we'll do this fight and then we will proceed. We'll proceed forward. Oh, shape. I don't recognize that one either. The one VR game that has inspired me, and like for a minute that really made me consider, like really made me consider getting a VR headset, is Blade and Sorcery. Where it's like a sword and magic fighting, uh, uh, like first person view. Uh, well, it's VR obviously, but, but like um, where you're swinging swords and casting spells at bad guys. Very physics-y, very dynamic, and very, very, like, engaging. It looks incredible. But, um... Ooh, I bet he's gonna resist the hammer. Yeah, he does resist. In fact, jumping probably wouldn't be good either. Let's just try, like, either big hammer... Oh, actually, what I should do... Let's change that to bomb that. I bet if we bomb this motherfucker, that'll do it. But yeah, Blade and Sorcery looks looks very good. It's very much on my list. Oh, so we can't. Oh, okay, you can't switch out and then use this person the same round. Then, um, eh, let's let's just try like a like a good hammer, not the basic one, but the good one. Still blocks it. Woo! What's up, Dami? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hole in the wall video game, really. Oh, right. I've, I've seen, like, the Japanese game shows where that's, like, a, a, a thing. Let's put this. Let's do... Let's charge up. We also try that. Let's try... Let's try the charge. Let's see if that does it. Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds very fun and very silly. That actually damaged him, and that did kill him, so we didn't have to power up for it necessarily. So those guys are are pretty hefty. They do drop health, mercifully. Time for sleepy time. Sounds good, Dami. Thanks for joining in. I appreciate you hopping in and chilling with us for a bit. Always nice getting some new folks. Okay, I can't make that jump. Ooh, there's another flower. A little uh, a seedling. 
We need their seeds for the gardening toad friend. So you got that as an option. I try to avoid him. Oh, I guess I'll jump directly on him and hurt my footsies. There's two of them. Don't love that. Don't love that. How's about this? Mario, I, I love you, man, but you're kind of useless right now. What I think I will do is... We'll see. I mm. also wonder if I should just... Not have Mario do anything. I mean, I could char... I could do refresh, obviously. Let's try a charge. And see how that does. I can blow one up. Confidently. Let's set the controller down for it. It's a single target as a thing, so... Let's see what the charge, if that did, if that was enough. It was. Okay, that, that actually does it. Good to know. Good to know. They drop a lot of money and some hearts, which is nice too. And I might even want to do... Whoops, not that. Let's consider. Let try Cooper. I think it would not be enough damage, though. No, we'll, we'll stick with Bomb Edge. He's doing a good job. So we can go up. Let's see what's this way. I don't think I'd be able to make that jump. So we still need to continue forward. Actually, you know what? I will go ahead and take this fight. Be oh, except I was victim to a first strike. Yeah, I'll take this first fight. If nothing else, I'll let Bomet take out this lad. And I'll focus Mr. Monty. Except I'll time it better next time. Got his ass. Black Magics, what's up, buddy? Don't whiz on the electric fence. Honestly, solid advice. I mean, I try to minimize the number of fences I'm pissing on in a general sense. But if I had to piss on something, I would rather it not be electrically charged, if I can help it. It's only partner. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was thinking the same thing, at least at this point, that uh, because it's such a high damaging move that I don't think Cooper's would be enough to, to breach his broad defense. Yeah, we're retreating forwards, that's right. So, oh, there, uh, there was a thing. Hold on, let's go back. I gotta drop down. For some reason, I'm getting flashbacks to Kirby 64, of all things. I think some of the levels on, um... Um... Rockstar... Are reminding me of the stuff we're seeing here. On this planet, uh, on this level. So I think that's why it's... Making Kirby come to mind. Although, honestly, Kirby should always be on my mind. Kirby should be on all of our minds all the times. Oh, no, it's okay, Black Magic. I'm glad to see you, bud. I know I, I did see on the Discord server, the Twitch St. Louis Discord server, you've been fighting a fever, which is not fun. For us to know that, that I did see uh, Lo, uh, Lo Jeppy's post about... Um, is this the slide, right? Um, about the aftermath of the... Woo! Well, the aftermath of the uh, Twitch St. Louis gathering at Two Plumbers. So... Understandably, it's like, well, yeah, that's gonna be. That's you know, people are people are being careful and, and getting themselves tested all that jazz. I'm sure that is not fun, very much not fun. Bomb this motherfucker up. Bam. Kirby 64, it's a good one. It is confession time. It's the only console Kirby game that I've beaten. Um. Yeah, yeah, I can't get both. But yeah, I'm, well, part of it is that I've, I, um, I never owned a Super Nintendo. So, like, all the Super Nintendo games are never a thing. And I have played some of the handheld console games. As far as home console ones are concerned. Oh, I've taken a lot of damage. Let's do a little focus, by the way. A refresh, rather. Right 
but I want to play the newest one. I, I actually have on, on this console right here, on this Wii U here, I have many Kirby games available to me. So, I'm running out of excuses. I have many Kirby games in my future for sure. But anyway, yeah, Black Match, it's good to see you, button. Yeah, like I said, I hope you're hope you're feeling better, man. That's that stuff can be not funsies. There's the second letter. Very nice. I like when it's just either one by themselves or just a single moly boy. That way that Mario is useful. Then Bombat can focus on the big man with the big bomb. Bam! So satisfying. And it's nice we're slowly recharging the refresh meter. Or the star meter, rather. Forecasting refreshes. So we should be able to have that be fairly... Um... Fairly, uh, sustainable. You know what? Not that. I just go and use the egg. I have something that replenishes both. I think I'll use the egg in these trying times. Um, yeah. So to be clear, we tickled a bush. We we like investigated a bush and an egg popped out. We don't know what kind of egg. It was just an egg. We didn't cook it. We just found an egg and then we just ate that shit raw. In the, in the sweltering heat of the desert. So what I'm saying is that Mario's gonna die of salmonella. With these awful conditions we're putting him through. Oh, it has one of those dudes. Those guys are the worst. Whoops, wrong button. Like I said, it's so much easier when I set the controller down. That mashing. Mashing of buttons and the mashing of potatoes. Oh, we just got a lot. Oh, that's nice. In that case, I think we're going on, on badge points for a minute. I'm probably just going to do either HP or flower power to HP. Yeah, probably going to bounce between flower power and HP for a minute. Now, this is sneaky. We can't see what's behind here. So I'm having to explorificate. I'm explorificating all over the place. Alright, so there's a drop a place to drop down there. A bouncy. Some coinies. Ooh, a treasure chest. Don't mind if I do. Do the action command. This is Mario's damage by That sounds really cool. That sounds real cool. Let's drop HP plus. In preference for that one. Alright, so I can't jump down from here. There's several options. I'm gonna fight you real quick. Yeah, when you successfully, that's right. So if I get, if I get good with my defense, and hopefully I'm getting okay at it, then yeah, we'll be even more sustainable. Oh, whoops. That was actually the wrong thing. So now's, now will be the time to try out. Okay, well, it helps if I time it better, but yes, if we could try that out and, and try the proper defenses. So this time I'm gonna do it right. Select the right ability. There we go. So much better. But only two star points. Yeah, that time we're getting much less out of it. Get a lot of monies though. Not that we well actually no, we do need monies because there was things I would like to afford that we could not afford earlier. And look at that. There's stuff over there. 
Whoa. Didn't think I was gonna go that high. I can't jump down. I'm gonna do one of these. Not quite. So once again, we either need a buddy that will help us like double jump or something. Yep, can't can't do it. Or if there's a way to extend Cooper's range. The way it is right now. Cooper's great. He, can get, he got us a single coin. He can only do so much. <laughs> yep. So we can slide down. And mess this man up. Ah! I got bamboozled. How's about this? I'm gonna go ahead and charge the hammers. I'm gonna be the bro who charges this hammer. And bombette, do your thing. The thing that bombs do. There we go. Look at that defense upped by one. Love to see it. Only two damage, but it's enough. You can penetrate their armor. And that's really all you need to do. I got a thick shell. Thick with several C's. Hmm, buddy strap, that's legit. I'll take that over the mushroom. Or I'll just eat the mushroom. Alright, so I'll bite. Let's see where this takes us. Whee! Guess here's the other lead we saw earlier. And now we're back in this area, and I think that was like the last thing I wanted to get was the letter. Because we determined we can't reach star star bit. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. So let's continue, let's proceed in the direction we were going, and then let's hope we can happen upon the third letter. For... Um... For... Paracoopa. Or the, the male guy, whatever, whatever the male guy's name is, I can't remember. And of course he had that answer the question of where that area was, was all about. Para carry, there we go. And that is still that area is still a mystery. So a few areas we've seen that we with jumps we just can't quite make yet. And of course this would take us back to the pre right, so we don't need to bother with that. So let's take this top path then. Let's see where that leads. Whoop. Sip of my water. Let me set this down. Put a cap on my lid. Put a cap on it. Just don't pop a cap in it. You know, one thing comes to mind with all these... All these buddies. All these, like compatriots we found, damn it, that give us various abilities and have good combat skills. I wonder if there would be any kind of way to do like a Paper Mario randomizer, where like if you could get certain things early, if it would, you know, allow you to skip certain sections of the game. I wonder if that's something like any modding communities for this game have considered. Because that's like such a popular thing for so many classic game communities. You know, modders making randomizers out of classic games. Some games, it's like, how would, how would they make a randomizer out of this? But sometimes it's like, well, shit, they fucking did it. Somehow. Most unlikely of candidates. Boink. Again, not a lot of experience, but man, the money's is... Oh, look at that. 
Wow, how lucky. Here's the jumpies. So that's as far as we can go anyway, so well, that's perfect. How convenient. Man, <laughs> we would have been screwed if, the, if it was just beyond. If it was just like on the other ledge. It's game over, man. But conveniently, it had, it had fallen just where it needed to go, just where it needed to be. I wasn't expecting to be able to walk this far. Okay. Just gotta get back to the entrance then. We can have a little bit of backtracking as a treat. Actually, I see that top path. I think like, and maybe we should drop down actually, because that top path might just be what we need to let us reach that item that I was, I was coveting from afar. So it should be right above. Uh, okay, I'm full of shit. But more importantly, we can ride a cool slide. That is verifiably more important. Here's another slide. Okay, so never mind. I thought I was onto something. No, oh, I turned away. I got bamboozled. Let's get Cooper in here. He's always good with the, with the Holy Trinity. Weakens all of them. Oh, I, I I pressed it way too early. I panicked. So two out of three ain't bad. Yo, is up Zell. Fifteen, fifteen. I don't know what that means, but yes, I am a casual though. What's up, Zell? This is my first Mario Party. Oh, my stats probably. Yeah, it's my first uh, Mario Party. My first Paper Mario playthrough. My first Paper Mario game ever, actually. And we're enjoying it a lot. I, uh, I've i played through Mario RPG and I loved it. Um, I've actually played through Mario RPG twice and I've loved it all the way through, so... The Paper Mario games have been, my, been on my list for a hot minute. Yeah, Mario Party. I, for some reason, my brain does this thing where I'll, I'll go to say... I'll, 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 like, get in my mind... I guess I, I think in... In... Um... Acronyms or something like I don't know why my brain does this, but I'll 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 get MP and PM mixed up and my brain like auto completes the acronyms to Paper Mario or Mario Party So it's like I don't know why my brain does it. But anyway, yeah, my first ever Paper Mario And if you're thinking that my stats are questionable, well, you're right to question them I got tricked by the uh, the one dude Where you pay him 39 coins and he promises to enhance a stat. Well, little did I know it was gonna bamboozle me and fuck up my stats otherwise. So my ba my badge points are way higher than I would like for them to be. So I'm I'm slowly up in the ante on the other ones. I mean badge power is nice, but but uh, it's like I didn't need for it to be quite that high. Right, bud. I got all the letters. Haven't had much luck. Well, I have. I got good news, homie. All the ones I've lost today, at least. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, this is how we learn. Everybody gets got by them, so it's, it's a rite of passage for the Paper Mario players out there. Paper Mario, Paper Gamers. What else has he lost? His mind. Then he pulls out a gun. No, not really. He might have dropped others while I was flying. Oh boy. I'll take it. So he's joining our party. Nice. So I'm guessing he will allow us to... Yeah, that's what's up, baby. That's what we like to see. 
that will get us over several hurdles that I was unsure about. Attack with Skydive or smash into... Mm, legit. If we next to you, that makes sense. Good stuff, bud. Alright, got a new homie. He will carry us across, hence the name. It's all coming together. So this is still a mystery, obviously. If I could, like, cheese it. It's a pretty short distance, so no. Okay, that's fine, though. I'm trying to think if there was anything else this way. This is pretty close to the beginning, actually, so let's... Proceed further to the right. Yeah, carry us across gaps. He's, he's a helpful dude. He was up stoner. Good to see you, bud. Good memories. Yeah, I'm, I'm always impressed whenever I play a game like this that I I missed, you know, years later or years ago rather. Instant violence, by the way. Because yeah, I, like I said earlier, I've never I never played this back in the day. And I always wanted to, but I just never got a chance to, so... Uh, but I had many friends that did play it, and, and obviously I've, I've interacted with many where a significant part of their childhood was spent with this one. So it's like, you know, I'm I'm experiencing others' nostalgia 20 years later, so better late than never, right? We have so many bumps, but this is such a good item, man. Let's drop another tea. Get him out of here. Unless I have need for the tea. I do not have need for the tea. Leaving it out in the hot desert sun. And these guys don't really give much experience or anything, so I'm avoiding them since they're not really necessary. Save completed. So we got this paracarry friend who's going to help us out big time. Like with this item, for instance. Here we go, bud. It's a pretty short gap. But there we go. New badge. Damages all enemies on the... Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ground or ceiling. So an area-wide ground attack, much like how uh, Cooper's attack is area-wide. That's pretty sick. could come in real handy. I have a, I have a feeling we're going to have some ceiling clinger enemies. All right. Um, yeah, let's keep going. So we got that. There is a lower area that we couldn't reach earlier. Yeah, it's this one right here. And of course, I, I need to go up first, don't I? Oops. Oh, God dang. I must have... I, I fat fingered him, man. I didn't even do that. I must- I- I pressed A when I meant to press B, that's embarrassing. We'll just say I was opening up some inventory spaces, alright? That's- that's all it is. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Whoops. What am I- yeah, I know, I- 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 I fat fingered it. What can you do? What can you do? However, we got a new seed, though. This will be considered a key item, I'm pretty sure. She said there's four total. Two for yeah. Yeah, that, that tracks with what we've heard. Yeah, I had pressed A instead of B in that in that one instance. That's what got me. I gotta I gotta my mind my my P's and Q's, but also my A's and B's. You know, if I was a if I wanted to really money ball this shit, I could just reload the save. I could do it, but nah. I gotta learn from my mistakes, or else I'll never grow as a human being. Woo! Broken bridge? No problemo. Who's this friend? Yeah, I see you looking at me. I don't know. Kinda sus, not gonna lie. Partner. I knew it. I knew it!
He's got a list. Checking it twice. Hopping in a cough drop. It's that part of the evening. It's like this guy named Mario. Never heard of him. Sounds like a nerd. <clears throat> What's your name? Yes, I am Princess Peach. Aren't I beautiful? Well, I'll be... I'd like to see you try, motherfucker. Let's have this guy see what he can do. Kick an enemy. Attack an enemy in the air by bumping into it. Let's see what that's all about. I'm curious. Push to the left in the release when it's aiming at the... Okay. That's kind of cool. So it's like a li it's like a, a linear uh, a, a line of sight kind of deal. I'm gonna do the power balance. I'm not gonna give this guy a chance to flex on us. Okay, so when I said I wasn't gonna give him a chance, what I meant is I will. Hit him a couple times, then get the timing done uh, wrong. Yeah, Mar yeah, Mar Mushroom Kingdom's most wanted. Let's try power bounce again. Nope. Okay, well, helps if I don't fuck it up. Still took the damage. Oh, four damage. That's spicy. Let's try this one more time. First one's the worst one, for me at least. Boink. Three damage. Let's do a little refresh. This guy's not a pushover. He's definitely a veritable mini boss. <laughs> I was pressing too frantically. Bonk. Yeah, four damage. That's not... That's not chump change. I'll just use a honey syrup or... Sleepy... N a nutty cake. Nutty cake it is. Oh, I was, I was getting ready to, like, mash the A button again. Oh, I fuck it. Oh, man. That was my own damn fault. My my hand slipped and I panicked. I gotta, I gotta get good, man. I gotta get good with that, that super jump, because that it seems like it's so good when you get the really good rhythm going. Just gotta get a feel for it. Oh, almost. We were right on the on the edge on that one, man. I need to pick me up. Not literally a pick me up. That's from Mario. Uh, that's from uh, Sunshine or Mario RPG. Oh, you'll note that I don't have a lot of other healing items. I just have the fancy ones. I don't know if I want to waste another one of these things, man. I already wasted one earlier. That noise is. Not doing us any favors. Yeah, we can't don't have this either. I could use a focus, but I have to survive the next round. Well, I guess there was if there was ever time to use it. I could try to put him to sleep. Or I could try to just damage the shit out of him. Oh, that hits all enemies. Ooh, man. Or hits one. I bet he would be immune. Because he's a mini boss, and mini bosses usually don't play by like normal enemy rules. All right, well, let's go ahead and use it. Saving it for a rainy day. This is a pretty rainy day, all right. Watch this. Watch this next hit hit him. Or kill him, rather. 
I knew it. I knew it, dude. Ain't that some shit. Oh, well, that's fine. It'd be hard. Yeah, I was thinking, like, since it's a significant fight, there probably would be a, a full restore not too far after. It's usually how these things go. Gives you a pretty tough fight, then gives you a, a restore or, like, a save point thing. Not too far after. That's where we're probably getting fairly close to the outpost as well. Give us both a full restore and health, or, uh, save. This to me seems like a, dr a desert that is dry. Oh, there's the outpost. You got a magic lamp. Oh, I like your mustache. Oh, is this the guy? He is the guy. We've heard all about him. So it's not it's not the outpost, but just a outpost. <laughs> Which one? Let's go with that one. Old chap. Is it one coin? Oh, that's actually nice. Because he was going to say anything else. We need a clue, he says. That's all I need. Back more info. Hmm. Just keep heading east. And straight from the path right. We've so I've heard. Watch out for the baddies. What's up this way? Ah! So they said go east. They didn't say go north. They said go east. So that's. That's for something else, probably. There's a south path as well. Free money, cool. Expecting bad guys to jump in at any moment. Ah! There he is. So I, I I strayed slightly, ever so slightly. Yeah, they are the opposite of shy. Anything like interesting back here? I don't know if this strikes me as the kind of game that would like hide things literally out of sight, but I don't know, man. I have trust issues when it comes to games of this era. They would push it like that, but they would specifically prevent you from seeing or like roach in the camera. They would hide things off screen. Just out of sight for being sneaky. Let's see what these guys are all about. Yeah, they're not... They're probably not like, you know, real shy guys per se. But they are... Shy, shy adjacent. Or Mr. Cooper. Now the, that one hammer ability would actually be kind of kind of nice right about now. We'll just smack one of them and see how it do. Oh, they steal coins! Ouch! Oh man, I can't get the timing down. Damn, I can't get. I can't. I lost all four of those. Damn, that's embarrassing. A lot of damage too. get our money back, no problem. I'm more worried about the damage they deal. 
Man. Yeah, I was lucky. <laughs> well, I do have the thing that protects me when those situations happen. Oh, he's not dead. Damn. Okay. There we go. Damn. It should be good to just use regular attacks now. This one combat did a lot of did a lot of damage to me, although we got quite a lot out of it. Wow. So it's that's a tough fight, alright. I gotta go back and heal, man. I got fucking swamped in that fight. But they did tell us, hey man, this shit ain't easy. And they were not kidding. Like, I don't even mind stealing a coin, man. It's, it's the health thing that I'm... I'm more concerned about. Take my money, just don't take my health. And the quality of life. If I could hit that tree, but probably not. It's a difficulty yet. Difficulty curve, alright. Yep, it is there. It's like, I want to explore, but... My brain informs me I probably shouldn't. I'll try this. These guys strike me as things I probably shouldn't jump on. Hmm. Let's try the hammer first and see where that gets us. I will switch you out. Bombs or that cool, like, launching attack? Mm, we'll try the bombs. At least they're not stealing coins this time. All right, I can only. Oh shit, that's a good point too. I would want to use the bomb on a fully uh, on a on a full health lad. Instead, we'll just do the body slam. Oh, that's kind of. Oh, they have spikes in their bodies too. Okay. What? Oh my. That was unexpected. Can't change members right now. Right, yeah, okay. Damn, that's good to know. They can just resurrect their buddies. Oof. Place don't fuck around, man. Ouch. Ouch, man. I, I was doing good for a minute there, and now I, I've been fucking up timings left and right. Or I should, or I should have her exploded. Bad guess. Now let's let's go back for Cooper. Your ground attack is so strong. <laughs> I swear I'm, I'm not. I, I swear I've played I've played a video game in my life. You wouldn't know it by wa by watching this stream, but I have played a game before. Well, this place is scary. Let's go back for another heal again, and uh, we're just gonna have to avoid combat. I usually like to see these as opportunities to like, yeah, let's let's get good, let's get practice in, you know, let's get more used to the game, uh, the combat, that kind of thing. It's like this place is it's a scary place. So I should probably just try to avoid avoid combat if I can help it. I've played a few video games, but you wouldn't guess it by by this performance. 
the speed burst. Yeah, that's a good point too. If we, if we're if we need to, you know, dodge a sneaky boy. If we're if we're in a if we're in a bind. Miss you with that with that bullshit. Okay, I'll bite. I, I should know better, but my curiosity is insurmountable. Oh, we've heard about you. I should avoid you because you'll yeet me to regions unknown. I usually try to avoid that if I can help it. Oh, hello, friend. That's the one. It's this little baggie you've got here. Okay, he's just, he's just chilling. Ooh. Money literally growing on trees in the world of Paper Mario. It's a tree over there. Wow! It's a tree over there with untold goodies. I'd imagine that once we reach the outpost, we could probably like fairly consistently go and engage in battle and then like, you know, go back for a nap time afterwards. If we did want more practice. It's a cool town, it's got a cool aesthetic. Excellent. Let's see, hold on, what was that? I have three letters to deliver. Toad Town, Goomba Village, and Koopa Village. So we have quite a few places to hit up. Is this the entrance to the village? Or the outpost, that is? It is. Can you believe it? Let me do a quick save. And I need to use the restroom. I need to use, use the little hobbit's room. I drank this whole... Uh, this whole, like, bottle... Plastic bottle of tea. And it went right through me. So I need to go use the restroom. The sea, bud. We're playing some Paper Mario, by the way. Oh my god, JD. Was it the freaking double raid? Oh my god. Wonderful. Thank you both. Thank you, Mr. Jet Dive, Mr. JD, the man himself. Let me switch over to this saying, yes. No, your timing was perfect. Thank you, Pancake Renegade and Mr. Jet Dive himself. Thank you both for the very kind raids. How's everyone doing? <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's my favorite game. API error in all caps and square brackets. Wait, wait yeah. It, it seemed like you spelled the name right. The Pancake Renegade. Yeah. Oh, pen, pen, cacada. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's what's up. That's awesome. So thank you, thank you both of you for for the raid. I don't know if this was a coordinated double raid or just lucky, you know, fortunate timing. But thank you, my friends. It's good to see you. I see Pancake Renegade was doing some Halo with the Master Chief Collection. Mr. Jet Dive continuing the cross code playthrough. I was hanging out in Jet Dive's stream just a few days ago as he was playing it. I think that was his first time playing it. And we were both remarking that the game looks pretty cool, and he was enjoying it so far. Um, because yeah, the game is very much on my list, so to speak. Halo for the first time, Renegade. Are you starting with the original Halo 1? Because, um, I, I, uh, my opinion is, is weird, okay? I'm a weird person. I, I love the first Halo, and I like all the subsequent ones, but of the three Halo games I've played, the first one is my favorite. And when I tell people that, they go, really? What? Like, they, they think I'm a madman, but I love Halo 1, dude. I think it's a great game. I mean, they're all great, but I have a soft spot for Halo 1. Went with Reach. Okay, so you're, so you're going through, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'd be, like, uh, I guess, what's word? Uh, uh, chronological order. I hope you're enjoying them. That's fantastic. In fact, I'll go and ask you, what are your thoughts on them so far? Because it sounds like you've already powered through several of them. And then JD playing more cross code, like I said, uh, the, the, I love the... If it was intentional or unintentional timing, it was fantastic, and I appreciate you both. JD, how was CrossCode, or how is, is CrossCode going? Um, to answer your question, though, we're playing Paper Mario. It's my first ever playthrough. We're in the second major area. Well, I guess technically third major area of the game. We're in Dry Dry Outpost, 
searching for the dry, dry ruins. We just made it here, and uh, we're we're on the lookout for some cool stuff. So yeah, we're in the dry, dry outpost. M mouse Staffa, excellent. So it's gonna be a little mouse friends this time around. The classic graphics, yeah. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking this, I, I was gonna ask, well, I was thinking about it, but yeah, the question of like which graphics mode, because the Master Chief Collection has newer, nice graphics, and then older, original graphics. And I'm a sucker for nostalgia, so I like the original aesthetic, even though this is, there was an Xbox w original uh, launch title, so the graphics have aged, you know, not very great by today's standards, but at its time, it was the pinnacle. That's fantastic. And like you said, Panic at Renegade, seeing how it evolves with each next entry. That's so freaking good. Yeah, it was a good coincidence. Well, I'm grateful for, for both of you. Pancake Renegade, thank you so much again for that raid. Um, Pancake Renegade, what are some of the things you have planned for your streams? And of course, Jet Dive, for those who don't know, is one of my mods, but also one of my homies. We've played a lot of games together, and we will be playing more things together very soon, me thinks. In fact, I, I was actually recently informed, JD, that I'll be available all day Sunday, because the family shindig I was going to um, got rescheduled once again. So, uh, so hopefully we'll be able to get some PSO2 in there on um uh sometime this weekend or or some kind of some kind of games first dungeon it's oh it's getting hard i feel that because this area is kicking the shit out of me man for those who've played this game before you might remember that the path to the dry dry outpost is lined with the blood of thousands of paper marios who fell in combat trying to get from point a to point b place is ruthless we barely scrape by but yeah it's it's rough out here so i can respect that jd Playing the games and, and, and surviving, but like, kind of getting one's ass kicked. I feel that, man. I feel that in my soul. Love the game, though, yeah. No, that's how I feel, Renegade, about Paper Mario. I've never played a single Paper Mario game before this playthrough. We started it on Monday. and Wait, Monday? Or Thursday of last week. I think we started, yeah. Um, no, no, yeah, we started on Monday. Today's Thursday. We did Monday, to, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, we started this on Monday, and I, I, it's always a series I knew I would like, because I loved Mario RPG, which is kind of the predecessor to the Paper Mario series. Um, so it's like, I always knew I would like it, but I just never got around to it, and here I am finally getting around to it, and it's worth it, but it's like, yeah, I felt kind of like guilty. It's like, oh man, what's taking me so long? But, uh, but better late than never, as we say. And I'm glad to hear you're getting into Halo, and I hope you're enjoying it. And of course, you probably are quite aware that Halo 5 is available. I've, I've heard that the multiplayer is not everyone's favorite. That it's like, you know, it's it's cool and, it, and it's freely available, but I know updates have been a little bit slow. But I hope that the single player for Halo 5 is at least worthwhile. Just because I know the open worldness, the open worldiness of it uh, seems very impressive. It seems like really, really, really enjoyable. Doing some Hitman. Oh, but the console. Really? That's a shame. Really? That's wild. This is like the DLC stuff. Yeah, that's a shame. Can I ask what platform you were playing it on? Because, yeah, I know the Hitman games. It's the probably like the newer ones, right? Like the kind of the re, uh, the relaunch of the Hitman series. Because, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that's acting out for you. Because, yeah, if you got like the DLC packs, that shit ain't cheap for one thing. He's singing to us, by the way. So everybody likes Mr. Master Maustafa. Where is he? Hidden from his foes. Yeah, nobody knows where he is apparently. So like D-Man said, yeah, the first thing I should probably deposit some things. Oh, what's this? It's a little sneaky man. Oh. Temporary close. Never mind. We're storing nothing. But I will save. Check some houses. Let's just, you know, enter uninvited. Stone cactus. I've seen it with my own eyeballs. Hmm. Three south and two west. Useful stuff. Desert is dangerous. Really? I'll blow you away and you'll get lost. Oof. There are many tales. Want to hear more? I do want to hear more. An oasis. 
South and just after you leave town, okay. Just to chill. Just to chill and, re and relax. I know lots of stuff. He's very helpful. Tree, three trees growing in a triangle in the desert. And for the center, something good. I like that. Tons and tons of useful info. Xbox One. The basic story. It was installing strangely. Yeah, that's so weird. I wonder if that um, if the problem you're describing affects other Xbox One users. Because, you know, if it's like, usually, if it's PC, if it's on like, if it's on a, you know, on PC or on Steam or something like that, there's a bajillion configurations for PC gaming and that kind of thing. So that's kind of hard to nail down sometimes. But if it's on a console, I mean, usually, excuse me, usually consoles are more consistent and are more reliable. So it's like if one person is having a problem on their Xbox One, such as Panky Grenegade, I wonder if that would affect other people as well. So I would hope there'd be, if that, if like you could Google the problem, if, if there would be a way to resolve it, because that does sound very frustrating. Yeah, the core story ones. Yeah, I, I've, I've only played the original Hitman. So Hitman, Codename 47, and Hitman 2, Silent Assassin. And I like them both. They're extraordinarily challenging games, but they're very good. And of course, the, yeah, the, the relaunch or the, or the remade games look incredible. But nothing. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, Panky Grenegade. That's a shame. Because I've heard those games are super good. But yeah, if it's just not working for you, then yeah, it's, I can't blame you for switching it up instead. I'm going to make a note for this because I feel like I'm going to forget. All these, all these other things are easy to remember. Three south, two west. From Stone Cactus. I got it noted. So there's anything else he has to, to offer. There's a whirlwind. He might be cycling, actually. Like, cycling through the same- Yeah, I think he's just cycling through the same couple of messages. I was thinking it was random each time. So this is this the guy that sings to us? Second, it is a second degree card. You are correct. What's up, Promus? First paper. I oh, that's really sweet of you, Promus. I appreciate that, man. I um, I'm really enjoying this so far, and I'm um, I'm I'm like, if if anything, I'm like impressed by how much game there is. I mean, if this is a spiritual continuation from paper from Mario RPG. Makes perfect sense that this game's got quite a lot to it, but yeah, it's like, I'm gonna be playing this for a bit, most likely. We are... Two and a half hours into my third stream of this game, we haven't even entered the second dungeon, so we, we got quite a lot left to, left to us, uh, for this game, for sure. Got me into Paper, yeah. So, Paper Mario is a spiritual continuation from Super, from, from Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo, and I loved that game. And this one always came recommenda recommended. This game, um, the, the sequel, Thousand Year Door, and then Super Paper Mario are always highly recommended by those who enjoy the series. So it's it's a game, I, it's a series I always knew I would enjoy. So it took me a while to get around to it, uh, literally over 20 years, <laughs> which is embarrassing to admit. But, um, but yeah, it's a series that, that's always kind of been in my back pocket as far as an entry I knew I would like. But uh, yeah, since I never played an entry, I'm, I'm learning as we go. Roscoe's kicking your ass. Yeah, that's, like I said, this game's been kicking my ass. I haven't had any, like, game overs yet, but to be perfectly honest, it's probably only a matter of time. Oh my god, yeah, the, dude, I can even show you. I can show you the picture of it being made by my fiance because she, uh, she did a very good job. I can show you the picture that, that she sent me. Because it was like, oh my god, this looks so good, it must be illegal. So, this, so it's still in progress. This is like before it was put in the oven. But that, there's the Icelandic cod. There's the Brussels sprouts. In the top part there. Pan fried, pan seared to perfection. So yeah. I, um, my fiance and I are both big fans of seafood. Uh, in fact, just, the other, just last weekend we went and got um, 
Oh, that was the rain. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. Ne never mind. I'm like getting my wires crossed. Because, yeah, the rainbow trout is what we made together. I don't have any pictures of that. I ate it way too fast. I, there were no, sur there was no surviving photos. I just scarfed that shit down. But, yeah, the rainbow trout in Brussels sprouts. That was over the weekend. Yeah, we love doing seafood. Um, she's been trying to be trying to be like more uh more like careful about what like the kinds of things she eats that kind of thing and i also try to eat fairly healthy whenever i can so we, we've been doing more seafood and more like veggie dishes lately um yeah seafood's great man i uh i mean halibut icelandic cod uh yeah rainbow trout sam even just salmon or tilapia i love tilapia so like even just like the cheap stuff man shrimp i'm down it's all excellent in the forefront. Yeah, I know D-Man's a Paper Mario a Paper Mario man for sure. What are the things jumping around? I would love, love nothing more than to tell you, my friends. So, thank you to D-Man telling us about the intro fighters. In fact, Pancake Ren again, I see you on a, on a, uh, on a killing spree so far. So here, um, I can, I'll, I'll show you. So, emote, um, let's do, let's do, let's do the classic. Get Frank or Z in there. So, oh, and I instantly get stabbed. Oh, except I got a spear. Ooh, now I'm the one to beat. What's up, Dave? Good to see you, bud. Ooh, we got lots of emotes. Hell yeah. Lots of fighters in there. So it is a freely available, goofy little game, application, utility. I don't know what to call it, but it is a, it is freely available. It is on itch.io, one of my favorite PC gaming and PC application utilities platforms, uh, storefronts. And it is full of goofy, fun stuff like this. And it's freely available. Uh, of course, donations are encouraged for the developer. But it's freely available on the itch.io page right there. You can set it up for your own stream. It's easy to set up. And it works for any kind of emote on Twitch. And that includes Frankerface Z emotes. It includes uh, 7 TV emotes. Uh, 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 better Twitch TV emotes. Even uh, animated emotes also work easy peasy. So it's pretty cool, and there's mutators, there's arenas that pop up, it's very fun. So if you want a way to spice up your BRB or your starting soon screens, it's great to set up, and it's very silly. Yeah, I first saw it uh, from some of the Noita streamers that I follow. Some of them have it up constantly. Like, I only have it up for certain screens, but some of them have it up uh, always, like for a small part of their overlay. So it's kind of fun seeing it that way. Had some good Brussels sprouts, oh my god. Yes, dude, Promus, that, that is almost verbatim what we do, actually. So yeah, what we do is we'll, uh, we'll cut them into halves, like you said, halved. Yeah, we'll, we'll use olive oil, um, and then, yeah, put some, like, salt, um, you know, usually we go fairly light on the seasoning, but yeah, then we air fry them, air fry our convection oven, cook them, um, and it gets them to a nice crispy... Nice, like, crispy uh, texture. Oh, my God. It's fucking incredible. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, man. So fucking good. Uh, Gracie and I have a... There's, there's a particular olive oil that we like the most. It's like a spicy olive oil. Oh, baby. It is a peppery hearty in my mouth. I love it so much. It's so good. So, yeah. I, that is Promus. You've, you've nailed it exactly how I like my Brussels sprouts, which is fucking incredible. Your steam chat emotes. Oh, you're right. There's the emotes on the Steam. Uh, like, yeah, the Steam, like, chat stuff. I hadn't even thought about that. You could use your own emotes, your own uh, Twitch emotes, by the way. Like, I can use my own. Am I, am I still alive right now? The one downside is that if you already have a dude, if you already have, like, a, an emote lad, an emote buddy in the fray, you can't change it on the fly. So, for instance, I can do this. I'm going to go ahead and put in my own emote. So I can use my own emotes. And it throws me in. But you'll note if I try that again... And if I try to do a different one, while this one is still alive, it doesn't change out, and it doesn't throw in a new one. You can only have one at a time, so you can't change emotes if you already have a dude, or if you already have a buddy that's fighting for you. But once you get killed, then there's nothing stopping you from, jump, from getting a fresh one in, just like we did there. So it's pretty fun. Heaps of bacon. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds solid, Mr. JD. Absolutely. Not a huge fan of olive oil. Yeah, lots of yeah, lots of other kind of oil works well. Olive oil I, I like, but I I rarely can like really taste it that much. It's usually pretty like pretty uh, uh 
inoffensive for me at least. Like usually I don't really notice it, but this spicy olive oil, oh, I get all, I get all excited. It's some good stuff, man. It's some good stuff. Oh, that is the wrong scene. That's the scene. There we go. I tend to default to the 16 by 9 because that's, I play a lot of widescreen games. This is old school. This is old school. We got the 4 by 3 ratio, so. All kinds of goodies here. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining in, friends. Thanks for all, all the folks hanging out with us tonight. And, uh, we have still lots of Paper Mario left. Like I said, this is, this is a fairly lengthy game. So I know we're going to be playing this for a minute. And I've got ambitions for more games after this. Like I said, after we finish Paper Mario, probably in a few weeks, we'll start up my first ever playthrough of Oblivion. Uh, that is to say, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Never played it in my life. I've played the fuck out of Morrowind, but I've never played Oblivion. I've never played Skyrim, so that's on my list. Might do some RimWorld after that. I've been going through and editing some old videos for my YouTube channels. Uh, and going through the RimWorld VODs right now, and man, oh man, those were fun too. So it's like I've just, I've constantly got shit I want to play and go back to and stream more of. It's a good problem to have, and I'm just, I want to play all the games, man. Oh man, so anyway, sorry, I, I, I forgot this dude I was talking to. He's got the second degree, degree, degree card as well. The fortune teller, oh, that's who he was talking about, okay. Yeah, if we ever find ourselves stuck... Free coin. Excuse me. As a 12 year old renting it, yeah. That's such a, a unique kind of nostalgia. The kind of games we rented as a kid. Because that's how I was too. There's a few games that I primarily remember renting. I eventually bought them, but like my first experiences were renting them. So it's like that was a unique way to first experience a game. From Toad Town, that's correct. Never even heard of the Dry Dry Ruins. Yeah, that's what I did promo promos. I can think of a few games that I rented more than once and then I eventually bought but it's like I should have just bought it sooner to save my, you know, save up my allowance for, right? Let's go for that easier. Yeah, that's exactly it, Pancake. Because, yeah, both of us, are, Pancake and I are both part of the stream team that GV manages. The, uh, the Kingdom stream team. In fact, I have a command for it for just such an occasion. Uh, you'll note that Pancake Renegade and I are in that list of streamers there. And, uh, yeah, Corvana's cool. been playing a lot, of, a lot of Oblivion. I know that George uh, plays a lot of Skyrim and other, you know, Elder Scrolls games, obviously. Uh, so it's I, I've been inspired by watching a lot of these streamers uh, play a lot of Elder Scrolls games. So it's been it's been a game I want to play already, but now I want to play it even more after watching all these guys play. So it is absolutely on my list. Oh, really? Like the, the cartridge stopped working as well? That's interesting. Yeah, I, uh, I've never actually had that happen... I think the only game I've ever had, like, ever act weird after playing it too much, and you're gonna laugh at me for this, but of all games, it was Clay Fighter, 63 and a third for the N64. I think there must be some kind of memory leak for the game, kind of like with Donkey Kong 64 or Majora's Mask. Of course, yeah, of course, Clay Fighter didn't require the expansion pack, but regardless, if you play the game for too long in a single sitting, it'll, it would crash out eventually. And I saw, like, a specific debug error message, like, twice ever. It was weird. And as a kid, I didn't know what it was, obviously, but... But yeah, it's like the idea of playing a game for too long and it starts to act up on you. Yeah, George, he's a smart guy. George is a really, really, uh, like, super knowledgeable and just really helpful guy. Yeah, and he's a cool guy. I, I like George a lot. I, I don't get to watch his streams often enough. And he streams games, like, I really, I wouldn't really want to play ESO myself. But I still like to watch him. Just, like, he's just, he's just a cool dude. So, like, you know, I'll, I'll watch him regardless of what games he plays. I have only no nothing but good things to say about George. He's a cool dude. Showing like, yeah, it would work, but it would maybe like show weird mer like errors or something or weird, just weird behavior. Yeah, and of course you probably know D-Man. There's like a whole community online of people who would love to seek out those kinds of weird errors or glitches. Glitch hunters, I guess is the term. With this other person. Go and ask the information trader. Hmm. Lives in town and swaps info for items or something. This guy, he's too shy to be an information... Ah, oh, okay. He's too shy to be an informant. Can I just talk to him? Oh, he's very shy. He says, I don't wanna... He's nervous. That's adorable. Alright, so the item shop is indeed closed. 
watching someone yeah that's actually because be, so before i i started this playthrough i was playing a lot of a very cool roguelike roguelite game called noita it's one of my favorite pc games and one of my favorite games to stream and it has a very dedicated community of people who play the game and also people who stream the game that are very knowledgeable because the game is easy to get into but difficult to master and just like you were saying pancake renegade when i watch the people that i i call them the pros or like the premier streamers for the game they're super knowledgeable and super good at the game watching them just i i through osmosis learned you know i, I would watch them do it and i would try to mimic their strats and, and try to take in their knowledge and that made me a better player as a result because i saw how they did it so i'm 100 percent in agreement sometimes watching the pros is honestly all you need a composer he is he says gonna find some heart moving lyrics keep an eye out then stardew valley start is a good one speaking of people who stream games there's a there are several streamers i follow where they that where stardew is like one of their big big games that they play and i love watching people play stardew i i don't know if it's the kind of thing i would ever want to play a whole lot myself at least not single player maybe multiplayer but single player maybe not so much but uh yeah it's like there's so much depth to that game and some people that's like they really build a whole stream out of it or like a whole uh personal brand out of it, i guess you would say so yeah that's that's been like a, a fun game to watch too and there's there's a lot to it there's a lot to it a lot of people that that enjoy playing it and streaming it the pink bomb she's one of our followers in fact I'll, I'll, we'll kind of show that we have several followers following us right now in fact what i should probably do is have this other dude out because he does have a letter uh he where we have letters we would like to deliver eventually so yeah we have several uh parties uh, party members we can only have one party member out at any given time each party member has some kind of special ability so Goombario here. We press down on the the equivalent of the C stick or C buttons rather. He he's very he's very knowledgeable. So he tells us about the surrounding area, which is nice. Look at a lot of tours because it's too hot. Yeah, so he's got some nice intel, which is good. And then Cooper, uh, if you if you jump on him, whoops, wrong button. If you jump on him, he'll like. Let's go outside where it's a little bit more obvious. He'll launch himself forward. It allows you to grab items from afar, which is nice. And our most recent acquisition, Para Carry. His special power is that he'll grab you and carry you forward a little bit, which is nice. And then Bombette, who I was using earlier. Well, she's a bomb lady, so she explodes. But she's fine. No harm done. So, yeah, you use your, your party members to help you in the overworld sections and then in combat you can switch out your party members and use their special abilities in, in for combat purposes so they're pretty nice however i'm going to use para carry a lot here because we have several letters we like to deliver whoops now toad town koopa village gooba village we don't have any letters right now for people here but we might find more so i just want to get in the habit of having him equipped for most casual situations Outlast, there were- Oh, that's cool. Oh, like, is it when you were streaming it? Because that's kind of nice, too. Yeah, like, when there's people that are super knowledgeable about the game who are looking for people streaming it to help out. That's really nice, too. That's that's a really a, a welcome sight to see, for sure. Like, the, the signs, the advertisements on the wall here. Star Summit. Hmm. We're talking about those guys. Yeah, we have a letter for him, actually. So at some point, we need to go back to Merlot, anyway. Stone Cactus, twice south and once east. Twice south and once east. Wasn't that the... Isn't that different from the, inf the info we were given by the other guy? Let me make a note for this real quick. Stone Cactus, twice south, once east. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought his intel was different. Give up to the blue twister where blue cacti grow. Maybe that's to say, allow yourself to get twisted by the twister. Or of the dervish, you'll know. Okay, I'll confess. I actually don't know what the word dervish is. A quick Google search Reno. 
A member of a- Oh, interesting, okay. So, religious order. One who's taken vows of poverty and austerity. Hmm. Interesting, so look for somebody who is- Who appears to be- Who appears to be somewhat poor. First time playing, yeah. Trying to help new players, that's super nice, that's super cool, cause like, those are people that are very knowledgeable, they could, you know, be spending their time doing other stuff, but helping out new homies, that's super cool. Is that not it? Okay, let me see if there's other definitions for Dervish. Cause that was the top recommenda uh, recommended definition. Yeah, member- the full definition according to Oxford. Member of a Muslim religious order. Who's taken vows of poverty and austerity. Let's see what else it could mean. Fraternity or- Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of word definitions for this word. Check the Wikipedia entry. Dervishes are accredited with the ability to perform miracles and are ascribed superpowers. It's an edible food? <laughs> There's so many names for the- or so many definitions for this thing. Oh, here's something called a whirling dervish. The whirling dance of a Sufi. Whirling. Proverbially associated with dervishes is best known in the West. Oh, it's like the Turkish- oh, like the- yeah, I, I know what they're describing. Interesting, yeah. So there's several definitions. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll, we'll look for a person on a, upon a mesa who is either poor or whirling around dancing in a, in like a Turkish, uh, dance affair or, uh, someone who is edible. So, that narrows it down. Helping out Colorado. Trying to find the ruins, but it's hot as blazes. Can't do shit. When I couldn't go home, I would probably as well if I was in his shoes. Me. Heard of dervishes and oh yeah, well slime rancher does have have some themes around like yeah feeding things to to critters and whatnot so that makes sense. Used to be the dry dry kingdom, King Mousta. Betrayed by his subjects, they ruined it. Hence the ruins we're looking for. This. Is there is there any paper cannibalism? Not to my knowledge, but I'm only like I'm only one seventh through this game, so who knows, my friends? Who knows? Yeah, some back alley paper cannibalism. Yeah, I always wonder why this game was rated adults only, 18 plus. Yeah, in the next chapter, Mario's gonna. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> I was about to say something very cursed. Yeah, that's the thing. I actually have heard Super Paper Mario's, uh, story and, like, uh, overall, uh, narrative is quite involved. Like, shockingly, shockingly deep. And, uh, I'm excited to get to that one, but yeah, I've heard it's, it's a lot. I've heard there's quite a lot for the, for a Super Paper Mario on the Wii. He mouse to escape and vowed vengeance. Beat of the Betrayers. Mmm, interesting. Once they built the outpost, yes. So the mouse lads are probably like of that same that same type. There's a toad house we could get we could take a nappy. Oh, I guess we don't need a nap, do we? Okay, well good to know that there is one here. And there's a safe point not too far back. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go explore a bit because we've heard there's some things to watch for. Office worker in the paper shredder. Yeah, yeah, we don't talk about- Yeah, paper shredders or just pairs of scissors. Oof. Maybe that's the final boss. A mean-ass pair of scissors that just instant kills any character that they cross. I'm gonna talk to this guy one more time because I'm gonna compare notes with the notes about the stone cactus we saw earlier. Yeah. One person, or the- I guess the sign said, Stone cactus, twice south, once east. Maybe there's two separate things to watch for. This one says, Stone, I'm making a note here, Stone Cactus, Thrice, South, To East, or oh, To West rather, same thing. So 
So the stone cactus is a a compass point, a, like a, a point of reference for many things to watch for. All town say, yeah. I just want to make sure I, I I found where they were before I, you know, got myself in a questionable situation. One thing is dead south for the oasis. Let's check that out real quick. Of course, Renegade. Yeah, of course. And again, thank you very much for the raid earlier. It's very sweet of you. Despite, I, I, I imagine the frustrations of, of Hitman misbehaving for you, but I do appreciate, I do appreciate the assistance, bud. Oh, I thought he, fuck, I thought I'd be able to wait my turn. So let's do this. Let's switch out. Cooper. Do your thing, my man. Work, work your magic. Time to get good for the dodges. Okay, that's not one of them. That's not it either. Damn it. Man. I, like, that is a constant uh, uh, source of, of challenge for me, is trying to get that, uh, that particular timing down for this one particular attack. Able to kill one of them, easy peasy. Oh, he's not dead, never mind. This will kill one of them for sure. I could care less about the coins. I can't wrap up my health. There we go. It's really tight timing. And I know what the timing is. It's just a matter of just, just getting it right. Yeah, it's like you got to get it right when that, ha when that transition happens. It's real... Real tidy whitey. Oh, I didn't get the timing down, but that's okay. It's enough to kill him anyway. Kill him dead. And there, it's a tough fight, and you're rewarded handsomely, experience-wise. But yeah, it's after the faint of hearts. Whoa! And then we, there's another one right after him. Alright, so these bushes cannot be investigated. These little dudes, man. These little dudes are nothing but trouble. I'm gonna check the tree. This guy's harsh in my style. Nothing on the tree. I guess my better judgment. Let's see what's down this way. A lime? Yeah, it's it, it, the timing is very similar, and the way the timing, the, the action panel works is very similar to Mario RPG. So it's like, in my mind, I know it must be done. It's just a matter of, of learning the feel, because it really is a thing you have to kind of get a feel for. So it's just something I'm. I need. I, I gotta get good. It is. It is the, the gamer. Mantra at this point. Limes and lemons. So there is. There's the oasis here, which is nice. Oh, what this. Oh. That's cool. Oh, man. All right, well, I would say it's between these three. Goombario, you're great, but these guys got some good stuff. I'm actually considering between Boom Bombette and Paracarry because these are both great for bosses, but Cooper's got that AoE that's just so good. Leaning towards Bombette, because like, it's great for penetrating hard defense and solid damage on a single target. So yeah, my, my heart tells me Bombette. You hold the button down for timed hits? Really? You can hold the button down for timed hits. I guess I either didn't know that or I never... 
like I, I either I'd forgotten it or I never knew that because I always thought it was like you had to press it down. You would hold the button down for your time. It's wow. I wonder if I just didn't know that or if it. Yeah, that's interesting because I played it not too far, not too long ago. That's interesting. Good to know though. Yeah. Combat is great. Parrot carry though is pretty cool, especially the way that you're like aiming with him. My heart tells me Bombat. So Bombat, you're it. I do. Super rank. There's probably more of those too. Now let's see if there's like something else that she learned. Yeah, she's got the little blue thingy. Power bomb. Oh, that's dope. Yes. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. A full heal to boot. Thank goodness I could. Lord knows I could use it. Now this to me seems like an like an oasis. All right. I thought the one dude said it was like three screens down. So I wonder if there's more south. Probably not. Well, I want to get the coins, but these guys are harsh in my buzz. Oh my god, they're all coins. Ah, fuck. Okay, fine. There's only a few of them, though. I think I'm actually gonna hold off on exploding. In a rare moment of... Oh, that's right, our power's enhanced. In a rare moment of, um... Damn. Um... Restraint. But you can hold it based on when you press the key. Yeah, like I said, I I guess I never thought about that. I because I would always I would try to get the timing down, and I did a pretty okay job of it by the end. But yeah, I, I guess I never realized you, that it was like you could try to time it by holding it down. It's an aesthetic. That's cool. Because yeah, this one when I when I play this, yeah, I I would assume that yeah, there'd be no holding. Shenanigans would be a, you know, click it or else, click it or, or miss it. So these all all have coins in them. Fools, they're far away. They have no idea. Of course, I've activated several days, so the further south I go, the more they can try and bamboozle me. Alright, so that confirms it. Nope. This would have been the third screen down, I'm pretty sure. And there's no further- Woo! South. Let's go find the stone cactus. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna fight one more of these fuckers, just so I can get more experience. Since there's gonna be a full heal in the next screen anyway, might as well. Might as well get good. Th thump as I trip over. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess that jumping. S yeah, standard. Three damn. Oh, that makes me so happy to see. There we go. See, it's like I need more. I need more practice. I need more experience. Or else I'll never learn. Also, I'll never get good. The more I think about it, though, the more I'm thinking Cooper is going to be the next one to get the upgrade. Because that ground hit all bad guys on the on the ground attack. That's going to be giant. Gigantic brain. Because, like, imagine doing that three damage across all people on the ground. Oh, baby. It would just melt certain motherfuckers. That is very much a thing I would I would strive for. Unless we get some other buddy who's just incredible. I have a feeling Cooper's gonna be the next next MVP. Mage very or 
MVP, most valuable party member. I gotta, I gotta get learned. I just gotta. Yo, let's see what this fucking looks like. I'm gonna guess I have to mash. Bam! Six damage. Oh, that makes me so happy to see. Get fucked, shy guy things. 69 star points, by the way. Hell yes. Ooh, items too. Yes, that makes me very happy to see. Seeing these guys get fucking wrecked. After how they've wrecked me more times than I wish to admit. I'll use the next one quite a lot. It wouldn't shock me. No, that was so satisfying. Let's fucking, let's fucking do that shit again. There we go, there we go. So earlier I, I said I wanted more experience fighting these guys. What it really comes down to is I just want to watch the life vanish from their eyes. As I murder entire families of these dudes. It's just, it's not about learning, it's all about revenge. Peace was never an option. Boink. 5 HP, by the way. But He's got that coin. He looks so smug when he's got that coin. Little does he know he's gonna get fucking... hurricaned. Each one is worth more. That, yeah, I was, I was thinking the same thing. It seems like it's not a linear progression. But there is very much a... When there's more, you just get, like, a bunch more. So if there would have been a third enemy, there would have been eight. Or maybe seven? No, no, it would have been eight, right? Oh, no, 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 it would have been, um... I guess it would have been six the next, then never mind. Actually, I guess it's not that weird. I guess it's not that abnormal. Let's go back for the stone cactus. See if we can find other cool things. Just doing oh, really? Okay, just doing ten. Which is not an insignificant amount. Can't get me up here, motherfuckers. Oh, yes, you can get me up here, motherfuckers. Hold on. Now I'm the motherfucker. Alright, so... I'm not going to jump on the other guy, because that would be a not good idea. In fact... I think what I will do... Hammer this lad. And I'll just have you body slam this dude. Just take him out. Don't. You son of a bitch. I was thinking, okay, as long as he doesn't bring in another guy, we'll be fine. What's the first thing that he did? He brought another guy. Goddamn. Right. Once again, peace was never an option. Oh, that makes me so happy. Goddamn. See you later! As he watched us just explode one of his homeboys. The stone cactus was one more to the left. It's close to the- yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was- I was probably hanging off a little bit. Just keeping an eye out for a triangle of trees. Triangle. Here we go. So, let's see. Twice south, once east. Oh, a regular cactus. Does it hurt? Nope. Bing! Anything else? Yeah, just regular non-stone cactus. Cacti. It's a lot of dudes. Let's see, this is the second south. So now we want to head east. I 
HP plus. I think I didn't I take off HP HP plus. Yeah, I did take off HP plus. I have FP plus on. Yeah, my my stats are natively 15, 10, and yeah, 12. But then the yeah the flower power is up to my five. Thanks to the items. It was once Easter. Okay, so there should be something here. Oh, blue cactus. Okay. And we want this lad to suck me. I shall allow the suck. Hmm. Ooh, that's pretty sick. Or a crutch? Well, I mean, for sure it is a, you know, when you, when you, Add uh, badge points. I get. I guess it ups it by three. I think. Um, so it's like you know. It's it's like a. You can use it to up flower points or hard points, but it, you know it, it belies the need for the badge point utilization. So it seems like it's not a bad thing per se, but it's li it's its use probably gets less nice as you get further into the levels. Less pronounced. It's never been here before. Find another way to get back. Ooh. Ooh. Cooper, this one's all you. Actually. Have you try it first. Okay, I was thinking like, well, if I could stand there, maybe there's more, but yeah, let's go with Cooper. Stopwatch. Realizes all enemies. That sounds cool. Probably that one. Next, us about this. Let me just eat the lemon. <laughs> wearing overalls in a desert? Yeah. Yeah, that would not be very uncomfortable. Yeah, wearing overalls in a desert, eating a lemon, just chopping an entire whole ass lemon down in the desert. Oh, I'm like puckering and cringing just imagining. Yeah, no, I, I mean, as I was lining up the shot, I was like, oh, this probably won't work, but it was worth a shot. In case there was any other shenanigans to consider. They both have their, their benefits. Um, right, so we just need to find out where we are right now. Let's just start heading north, I guess, and see what happens. This looks like the main path to me, actually. Actually, if it is the main path, I wouldn't want to go... Mm, yeah, okay, never mind, though. Okay, so that sent us pretty far back to the right, then. So there's one more area we want to check out with the stone cactus as our reference point. And here it is. So this one we go... 3 south, 2 west. So it's 1... Two. Lots of pokies. If that's what they are in this game, I know in Mario World they're called pokies. And from here we go to west. Due west to west. Expecting there's a third one somewhere. So Uno, whoa! I know that noise. Should be something here. I'm guessing this will be the triangle of trees, maybe. It's a rock. Completely by itself. Can we explode it? Let's find out. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> That's cool. That's a fun one. Okay. 
so we still have not found the dervish or the holy trinity of trees. Let's get a little cactus flower. Desert rose. Rock over there. Well, we could be searching for a thousand, excuse me, years. So he thinks we'll probably head back now. Oh, that turns us. Oh, it turns us into a dervish. I get it now. I get it now. Okay. I was I was thinking too literally. I was like, well, there'll be a guy that we'll see who's dancing. I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That explains. Oh, I just let that happen. That explains. It. Thank you for cleaning that up, D man. Now I feel I feel less like a dummy now. That's not true. I still feel like a dummy, but. But less so. I'm gonna go and explode these bastards and feel no shame. I'm feeling more comfortable dealing with the the shy lads, but the, the pokey boys. Not a fan of those big lads. I'll explode my way out of a situation whenever I can. Like I'm just kind of exploring because I haven't been here yet. Or maybe I have. Oh, yes, I have been here. Oh, right. I remember, yeah, breaking these and then immediately leaving when I saw what awaited me. I want to look for these trees, but... I mean, we could be here forever. We'll just assume that there's some other thing that can point us to the trees. And be done with it. <laughs> no, it's just a mad actually, well we could we could explore around up north. Like I haven't really done anything up north. Instaco right, yeah. Except you would spin into them. Spin to win. Ooh, like Magic has got something. He says, oh, I'm just waiting, Alex, waiting for my turn to, to strike when you least expect it. We've had some, we've had some wild ones. Oh, I just jumped into him. I just try to, oh, except, never mind, we can't, hmm, let's think about this. I'm actually going to, hmm, I'm just going to do a regular explodey against this motherfucker. The other guy we can deal with, because I want to kill that guy quickly before he spawns more of his homies. That's what I worry about. And again, I need more practice with this. Damn it. There's always that, that differential. And when they walk up to when they begin the animation, it's like, damn. Gotta, I get, gotta get better reaction times. I gotta get my my timing down. He dropped a dried fruit. If wow, that's good. Fucking drop the lime, I guess. Yeah. Get out of here, lime. Throw it away. Actually, if I'm throwing it away, I guess I might as well use it. No need for it to just evaporate in the hard, unforgiving desert sun. No, you fucking don't. That is my honey syrup, thank you. Virtual origin care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done the same one. Damn, that's actually sick, Black Magics. As those of us in the United States know, that is usually not how it goes. Usually it's it's I was on hold for 30 minutes. And then I'm on hold for an hour, and then I had to go to the office, and the di and the appointment was, was was delayed, and the waiting room was packed, and this and that, it was all miserable, and then the whole experience cost me $300 out of pocket, after insurance, 
So yeah, that's that is a strangely positive story, Black Magic. I'm glad to hear it. I love to hear those. Wish we could hear more of them. Well, have you yet to oh fuck? Have you yet to find the trifecta of trees, trifecta of tries? Fever's breaking. That's good. You're like breaking through it. Oh, well, except that part doesn't sound fun. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I was hoping like breaking meant like you were you would emerge on the other side. You'd, you'd power through it. We're doing the big, the big attacks. Bam. Cause yeah, that sounds the opposite of good, but hopefully once you power through it, it'll be done. See, hey, look at that. So yeah, we can do the flower power to get us more of that. I feel like we've actually been doing pretty okay with flower power. So I'm, I'm leaning more towards HP. Still no trees, man. I'm sad about it. In fact, this might be as far east as we can go. I lied. One more. Yeah, just, just just trying to sweat it out. It's it's such a pain in the ass, but whoa, there's a thing back there. The dr mm, dried fruit thingy. Oh, it's a flower power thing. Those are actually quite nice. Jeez, if I could just fucking drop a nuke and blow these assholes up. Burns all enemies. It's nice of them to just wait while I'm deliberating here. You are feel okay. That that's what I was hoping is that like it was a sign that you were starting to be on the mend. Yeah, so that's that's encouraging. That's that is what we will we are happy to hear. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, there's eight of them, maybe eight or nine. Goddamn. Oh, oh, okay. I landed on his ass, very much intentionally. You already know what it is, by the way. Fuck you! Just clear the screen. And again, we're getting less experience because we've and we've already ascended. It's like sometimes I'll hit the tree a second time, like maybe. One can hope. Okay, well, we never found the the triangle of trees, but that's okay. So we found lots of other goodies while exploring and gained a level and learned about ourselves along the way. And you can't put a price tag on that. I say this will probably bring us to. I lied. It'll be one more south, I guess. Yep. Here we go. Back to the path. I'm just grateful it's not like some video games where when you're getting lost, quote unquote, in these kinds of sections, the paths aren't like changing in front of you. At least it's static. I'm grateful for that. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully Mario's wearing some sunscreen, man. Because if he's like me, he probably burns up the fucking mere sound of the word sun. See, so yeah, in the next area, we learn that there's several more things to this town. Let's go and take a little nappy, though. A little power nap. Little nappies. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the sun. The angry sun in Mario... Yeah, it was, I think you're right. I think it was Mario 3 specifically, yeah. These levels are fun, but stressful. Probably epitomizes about like the word of optimizing. It's optimizing the emotion for the optimal amount of fear and or hatred. Optimized. 
Epitomize, optimize, it's a difference of like one vowel. Looking for the dry ruins, so are we. We won't find them. Hmm. Somebody who would have more intel. The descendant of a king. Aberbas guarded them. Hides in this town and keeps the ruins mm, from prying eyes. Yeah, epitomize. Epitomize makes more sense, but ah, I like optimize. <laughs> like the noise he makes. Hmm. Give him something. Hmm. Here's something that I don't really care about. He might be nice. I mean, alright. Where's the honey syrup? Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna use the sleepy. Well, hmm. The shop might be open. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I. I mean, you can already tell them, like, I don't know. Like, the fire flower is nice. Uh, if it works, makes one of me sleep for a while. We'll give him this one. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. Sheik, and he trades information. That's what we like to see. <laughs> Favorite food. Tell me about the ruins, man. Resting place, okay. Hmm, okay. The nicest of nice guys? Oh, man. Okay. So in that case, I will... Yes, precious things. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to dip into my reserves. Whee it's open now. Little Mausers. I like the references to Mouser from Mario 2. Let's check several things in. Keep that on us. Yeah, check that one. Check this guy. Check all the really nice items for now. Attack power 6. That's sick. That is so nice. Alright, so. Let's claim some things. I have so many Koopa Tees. It's like an easy thing that we can just throw at that guy. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just make it rain tea on his ass. I guess we'll keep one in there. I always buy mushrooms. I could buy a dried shroom. Dried pasta? It's kind of cool. I bet we can make the lady make us some cool, some like actual pasta things. It has the X on it. Maybe we're forbidden from buying it. Hmm. Actually, pretty impressed that's so available so cheap because that's pretty good attack power. Let's see if that's enough. Bonk. All right, he's that's a normal mouse lad. I'm like trained now to watch for suspicious looking mouse friends. <laughs> Favorite food. Every time, every time I see it, I'm like, <laughs> please. Here's some more tea, homie. 
But the, more about the ruins, please? Ah. Oh, okay. So, well, okay. I'll give him one more, more to you then. I'll ask him about the, the place in general. Yeah, I misunderstood. I thought, I thought he meant, like, if you, if you up the ante, then I'll tell you more about this one subject. Let's see if sand... The secrets. Really wasn't that helpful. Interesting. That is w word of the wise indeed. We need to talk to that lad a little bit more then. To move the plot forward. That's all the same, so far as I can tell. Yeah, the Koopas are clueless, man. They're, I mean, they're trying their best, but they can only do so much. Whoops. Is there anything else on this side, by the way? Because we did that one. Did that one. I did that one. Okay, so that's that's all there were. All oh, right, he's the shy one. What about the fortune teller? Yes. This one too. Oh, this guy's here. A little quizzy. A wheeze. Let me spin over to the buzzer. So it's a yellow, right? Yep. Easy. Star piece opens up his hat. Oh, your fun died black. But yep, yeah. And then you go to you go to tap, and it's like, what? Wake up! And it's like, nope. I'm I'm dead. D e d dead. Probably won't ever see him. He says. Are you the composer, lad? Oh, he's the right. Okay, yeah, we've already already talked to you. The composer lad who was wanting words. I mean, this guy's singing over here, but not quite the same. Is there an option to talk to this guy? No, there's no talk option. Quality items. I mean, it's, it's affordable, that's for sure. It's like, I was this, he's so shy. He's like, I don't want to. You can't make me. Yeah, here's the composer lad. Some heart moving lyrics. It's like, I wish I could get him to talk to the other guy that's out here. What's about this? Let's go buy a few more things. Let's buy the cheapest thing that I can, that I can find. Because maybe what we need to do is we need to find out what his favorite food is. And then give him his favorite food. And then he'll like, he'll, he'll our friendship level will skyrocket through the roof. And he'll be like, all right, since you get, asked me my favorite food, I'll give you the DL. So I'll get three dry shroom. I think just two are necessary. I, I bet he's gonna I bet he's gonna want pasta for no reason and I bet he's gonna want it cooked oh except we'd have to leave and I don't think we actually can leave right now 
Because I don't think there's any cooks here. We'll see if the hunch pays off. The hunch for the lunch. 21st is... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I did see uh, Yeah, the discussion in the Discord server about uh, Pokemon Go Day, which would be nice. And we got May weather, hopefully, coming up fairly soon. That'd be very gamer if we could get some cool games going, man. St. Charles? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, St. Charles would be good. What is your favorite food? Some kind of lunch thing? That'd be nice, yeah. Oh, no, the lemon. Okay, I gotta go, go, I gotta go back for the lemons. I thought for sure I'd have all the pasta, man. Favorite fruit is a lot. Who, who, who out here is like, yeah, man, I love lemons. Somebody just, ah, just eat a fucking lemon. I, I like lemons mixed into things or baked into things or squeezed over tasty fishes. But never once in my life have I thought to myself, man, I've got a hankering for just a... Ow. Or just a fucking mouthful of sour. I might believe you're a true nice guy. Alright. Enough. Enough, says Mario. I'm off to my lemon quest. I've, there's an opportunity here, and you probably know what I'm ruminating over. If I get enough lemons and bring it back to him, do you think he'll throw us a lemon party? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, it's a low-hanging fruit, okay? Like, if he really, really likes us, he gets really excited. So, here, let's deposit the... The one dry... Oh, actually, no. Let's keep the dry trip. Let's deposit the pasta. Low-hanging fruit, man. Some cave junk. Yeah, yeah, we need the exploding lemons to burn their motherfucking house down. Oh, that was something. Yep. Would I rather a lemon party or a lime party? A lemon party I would be perturbed by. A lime party I would have questions. I would be perturbed, but I would be, like, concerned for their health. Lemon in the- Well, yeah, then you've got the- the- the house of Burnination. Uh... Oh, Oasis. South. Just do South. Yeah, that- that makes the- the Lemon Burnations for burning down houses. Um, one of the years I went to MAGFest, I got to meet... Ellen... McLean, I think is her name. The woman who voiced GLaDOS. There it is. She And she's voiced, she's done a lot of cool things. She's an opera singer. She's voiced a bajillion, you know, characters and TV shows and movies, all that jazz. She's a very accomplished woman. And she's married to the guy that voices... Sniper in TF2, I think? And, he's, and you would recognize his voice. He, does, he did a bunch of voices in Half-Life 2 as well. Anyway, they were doing a, uh, I, in addition to, like, their, like, meet and greet sessions, they also did a QA and a session where, when the room was packed. Dozens and dozens, probably, probably at least 100 or 200 or so people. Well, that's probably a bit high. We'll say about 80 to 100 people crammed into a fairly small little room. And it was a really cool Q&A. And she had many stories to tell and, and lots of, like, fun, uh, fun moments to share. At some point, some point, somebody asked her, what's your favorite quote? Like, what's your favorite line from, from the series, from Portal 1 and Portal 2? And, of course, the GLaDOS character, in addition to Ellen's voice being very iconic and very cool, there's, like, processing effects to make it sound robotic. But still, she was able to, like, bring her voice down low, and her she was like, my favorite one is the one where GLaDOS says, you know... Helping you and hurting you are not mutually exclusive, or something like that. I might be paraphrasing. Anyway, the reason I bring this all up is because during the Q&A session, um, one person came up and he had a suit, like a sport jacket on, and like dress pants and dress shoes. He was very professional. He goes, Ellen, Cave Johnson here. And he had like, he had like lemons 
overflowing from his pockets. And he was in character the whole time. And, um, I think the story went, he had met her the previous year, also in character as Cave Johnson, and he had gotten her to sign one of his lemons. And... <laughs> and when he got home, Cave, this Mr. Johnson, um, you know, put all of his things away and whatnot, but he, le he actually left his lemons out. And the ones that he had for his character, as well as the one that, si that was signed by Ellen. And the ones that had been left out got all moldy and gross. Except for the one that she signed. So he actually brought it with him a year later for MAGFest. Obviously, by that point, it had gone bad, but it wasn't moldy. So he was like, I want to ask what fucking, like, black... He didn't say it this way, but like, you know, what black magic did you apply to this and her basic answer was like hey a, 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 a professional never reveals their secrets at the end, of the end of the conversation she's like and she goes in her ellen mclean voice now cave be careful with those lemons you know what they can do don't you it was so charming and like so delightful she is an absolute national treasure she should be protected at all costs anyway that's my ellen mclean story Yeah, there was there were so many iconic lines for, for both games. She is. Yeah, Team Fortress 2 administrator. Yeah, yeah, she's done a lot of cool shit. She was in um Uh Pacific Rim? Is that it? There's like a GLaDOS like voice you hear. What am I doing? Oh right, lemon, yes. Le time for a lemon party. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Probably wrap up fairly soon. It's I've been I've been live for for a minute for a minute probably around the four hour mark is where we'll call it. But first, that's how I live my life. I live my life, but first, should I open with a dry shroom? Let's open with a dry shroom. Grease the the wheels, as it were. Favorite food. Alright, so, so we're queuing it up, right? We're doing all the right, hopefully, the right steps. I do understand. A limon! She's awesome. She's awesome, and the, and the woman behind her is a phenomenal human being, as far as I can tell. Something really nice. <laughs> Your favorite food! <laughs> That I just gave you. Open this town. Hmm. The correct order. Right shroom, then dusty hammer. I wonder if you if you knew that ahead of time, if you could just sequence break this whole ordeal and just go right for it. If you buy them in the incorrect order, he'll take out a gun and murder you. Dry shroom and the cool little hammer thing. You can sequence break. That makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You're right. You're right. I threw away the lemon and I almost stumbled upon the solution like a doofus. Like an absent minded doofus. Oh, hello. I'm just perusing your wares. You know, me. Nothing to be to be perturbed by or anything. Oh, let me just um, what's this? Let me just buy this dried shrimp. You know, I'm just gonna buy this for no reason, really. Thanks. And then for no reason at all, how about this dusty hammer? Are you sure you want it? Uh, yes. He says, "Oh, the secret code has been uttered." This would have fucked me up so bad if I would have bought the hammer, stumbled upon the solution. I would have been like, the fuck did I do? Like, I would have been shooketh. It would have, it would have flipped me right the fuck out. Yeah, I was thinking, I, I thought that was like a meme one. I thought it'd be like, oh, that's just for funny, for, you know, for funsies. Surely enough, there's a reason for all of it. Highest part of the outpost. 
Keep going up, he says. Hmm. Not the answer I was expecting to hear. Keep going up. He's hidden from his yeah, so I'm thinking like Maybe we got to talk to the other guy again Going up yes, I would like to if I could Yeah, that's all the same Now I'm like Ooh, what can I climb on I guess I really haven't tried jumping on a lot of things And this that we're in right now is the outpost. Every time I see that, I think I can sneak through it. It's like I'm think I keep thinking like, oh, maybe they'll have new intel. I actually, try jumping over this. Oh, oh, I never actually. I guess I never tried this, did I? This is not ominous at all, is it? Now, hold on, is that the same person? Hope you during battle. So other strange things. Mmm. RNG, you say. Gonna hold off for now. Lord knows I get bodied more often than I want to admit. Through things that are that are within my control. Introducing RNG into the mix. Mayhaps I should not go for it just yet. I thought I was onto something. I was thinking, ooh, if I could, like, jump up further. Oh. How can a door be a jar? Clearly a door is a door. Oh. We're... Whoops. Wrong button. Yeah, RNG, but yeah, which, for better or for worse, can be good or not good. Depending on how the how the cards fall. Ooh, we can have cards. Traveling Nomad. Oh, that was the guy we saw, I think, earlier, probably. In fact, he thinks we're going to need this lad. Ah, the ultimate bamboozle. Who would have ever seen this coming? Shocking. It was him all along. Aha. Purely random, though. Genuinely nice guy. <laughs> Every time I hear them say nice guy, I think of like the stereotypical, but I'm a nice guy. Why don't women like me? Like I think about the, you know, the 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 meme, the, the a nice guy versus a nice guy, you know, that kind of thing. I do seek the ruins, it's true. Many generations. Gotta keep the baddies out of there. I like his dramatic flair of jumping on various parts of the furniture as he tells us all this info. Ooh, so we must seek it out in the desert, most likely.
Very cool. So I'm guessing it's a key item, not a, not a thing you equip. Very nice. Anything else? Excellent. <laughs> this makes me wonder if there's like other things you can hop along onto. If there, like, yeah, I see the stuff over on this side. The answer, I think, is probably not, but like curiosity sometimes knows no bounds. Okay, well, that's good enough for me. All right, so we've got our marching orders then. Do I need to restore things? No, I do not. Now, it would probably behoove me to come equipped because this is assuming that once I do find it, that that will be the beginning of our next adventure. Now, I offload a lot of my, you know, more standard things earlier. As you can imagine, I'm going to leave the good shit, but take some of the more standard things. So, HP restoration, yes. Body cake, yes. Take a dried fruit, too. I think I actually might do it. The dried pasta, pasta for now. I think I might even buy... It's enemy. Actually, we're probably pretty close to being maxed out anyway, aren't we? Oh, we got the lot. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's fine. It's fine. I, th I think we're fine. So we're good there. We need to deliver the letter we just found. And venture out in the desert and see where that takes us. Yeah, first and foremost, I want to see if we can del deliver that letter to the dude who's chilling in one of these areas. So it tells when the flashing is happening. Lemon and lime trees grow. Enemies plague the surrounding areas. Yes, we're quite aware. That's the one. We're like awkwardly standing in front of him. I can't remember who he is. He's only the ruler of this place. Here's the tip. Hell yeah. Star piece. So it's somewhere. Ooh. Hmm, that's a good sign. Now let's think about this. Um, yeah, the only thing was to, we were looking for the trees. I was thinking it would be like a super obvious tree arrangement. But there was that one area where like the tree, there were three trees and they were spaced out far away from each other. This way, kinda. Getting warmer. Okay, we've gotten colder then. Let's go back and go south. I think. And some more coins, why the hell not? Mm. 
Yeah, actually, the frequency seems lower here. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. We're in the right general neighborhood. Let's go this way. Ooh, now we've lost it entirely. Let's go back up. We've lost it entirely again. Let's go up again. Maybe I need to talk to this lad first, actually. This is like, gotta be the one! If it even exists at all. So it still blinks a little bit. I go north. Oh. That is up in the ante. Oh, we can't go left any further. Let's continue going north. It's a good sign. Ooh. Mmm. That is a good sign indeed. I was like, I want to just hit this thing. That's fine. Oh, it's just the one anyway. Well, I say that. You know what? We all know what this man's capable of. Headshot. I know there's no headshot, but still. Ran the noggin. Oh, fight jar. Cool. I'll take it. He's stuck. Love to see it. No, oh, fuck. So it's not like looking for a specific spot. He, where'd you go? Oh, like on the ground, per se, I don't think. Let's head farther east. Oh, it's popping off. Oh, snap. Interesting. We actually saw this earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. We found that shit. Like pro gamers. Oh, I like the chain chomps. That's sick. Oh, they're so happy and terrified. Understandable. We've also plunged the world into an unholy darkness. NBD. Oh, that's cool. It's like a pop-up book. That was fantastic. That was a cool little sequence. Let's see, the landscape has changed just ever so slightly. And it is 12.30. I'm gonna go out on a limb and suggest this is probably the entrance to the dungeon arena. Tutan Koopa. Very good. Because that begs the question, because earlier he was saying, well, yeah, the, uh, the the mouse lad was like, well, yeah, I want to keep the bad guys out of here. Home Slice, the bad guys are already here. And of course, I guess they're guarding the, the star friend that has been taken hostage. So, we're here to cleanse it of evil. And we shall do so next time, friends. Since it's getting late, I've been live for over four hours. 
It's usually more or less about where I try to keep my weekend stream or weekday streams.